Howard team will be right back after these messages. Warning, such behavior is irresponsible, immature, and very foolish. We recommend you try it at home. Paperboy from Mindscape for your Nintendo Entertainment System. The One, the only Channel 43 introduces the One, the only Kirk Cameron. I can be a pretty sensitive guy sometimes. Puss face. <laughs> Growing Pains, weekdays at 5.30. And we've got Tony Danza. It's me, Mr. Goodmark. He'll make you laugh and show you who's the boss every weeknight at 6 on Channel 43. Two of the best comedies on television, Growing Pains and Who's the Boss, are on The One, the only Channel 43. To get past this guy, you'll need to levitate. First spear each bat in the air, then run to the far side. Levitate and fight him with the dagger. The white dot on the map shows you where you are. The red dot gives you your destination. Here's where you need those boots. After you walk along the bottom, ride a bubble to get up. What you need at this level is the pink key. The only way you'll get high enough to reach some spots is to levitate, then jump. Thank you. 
The red key is tough to get, but you'll need it to get the battle axe of Agu. Without the battle axe, you'll have trouble getting the next two levels. Here's the Staff of Power. We'll lose the Lava Boots, but we won't be needing them anymore. The Battle Axe is crucial for beating the monster. This level is tough. Here's where you'll find the Red Key. And here's the blue key. You'll also be able to get the one. Man, and in, in, I guess in grand, uh, well, let me let me throw it over here. Actually, let me do some let me do some futzing while we're here, while we're here, while we're together as a family. Let me futz. You got you guys gonna get to see some live action futz. So uh, this is this is the old gamer zone here. Um, I can add my webcam to it. I feel like there's something better to be done here. Oh boy. Huh? Network's being a little little funky. I am networking into the computer that's streaming. I basically hacked it. I'm I'm hacked. This is what it is. Uh hey everybody. How's it going? You can't see me right now, but that'll change soon. So, uh hey. Hold on a second. Uh, hey, it's me. Just hanging out. Um I'm gonna I'm gonna mess with some stuff. See if I can figure this out. So yeah, I hadn't done a whole... There is keying in uh, OBS, but it's not very good. So if I... Let's see. If I do this... Filters. All right. Maybe it'll be just dumb enough. Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? I got, I got a hunch here. I'm going to play my hunch. Uh, let's see. Okay, that didn't work. Oh, okay, I, I get it. Yeah, now you're just looking at my email. Let me close that. <laughs> And the uh, the long telescoping desktop that I've got going on. Hmm. Just turn that off. But doesn't that remove it? Also, why did that chrome out the whole thing? Hmm. This is complicated, you guys. Okay, well, whatever. Didn't work. Futz incomplete. Uh, I'll figure this out. I'll get something crazy going there. What's up, Alex? Hey everybody. Uh, I was gonna say something. Oh yes. Um, apropos of nothing, or apropos of what I was saying in chat, uh, what we need to do is have a deep, investigative, journalistic look at the relative prices of Steam trading cards, because I'm pretty sure that in there somewhere you'll find some really interesting things about the Steam user base and the people that get into trading cards in general. I have a feeling. I have a feeling. I'll see us, Creepy Shank. You're on the right track with, uh, with your creepy baby talk. Man. Okay, so... I can do something like this. Like, that's kind of creepy, right? This could be gamer's own shit. It's a little Max Headroomy. The problem is when the lights in this room change, this display's gonna change too. Um, you know, this is pretty basic. I turned the knobs until I found something weird looking. Um, I think I might be okay with that. I think I might be okay with that. And it doesn't look like this chroma is really fucking up my computer too much. I just moved a lot of encoding around so I have plenty of CPU space to, fi to fill with. Also, it's going to be 60 FPS, so it's going to look weird as shit. Yeah, very cybery, right? Perfect. I like it. All right. Uh, okay, well, hang on that for now, then. I think, I think all my other stuff is ready to go. Checking one, two. Yeah, this is cyberpunk now. Well, it's about to get more cyberpunk, because we're about to experience the tale. The tale of a man. The tale of a mega man. Who is also just called X. Uh, guys, we've made it. We played through ten Mega Man games. I say we, because that's how streamers talk. Hold on, it just really fucked with everything. Ugh. What if I rearranged all your windows? Hold on, it's... It's gonna take some tabbing. 
Is there no, like, options? All right, hold on. Sorry to, sorry to keep you guys in the dark here. I actually haven't launched this game yet. And... How about windowed? How about windowed full screen? We're not savages here. Except when I do that, it's like... It's intent to not display it the right thing. Okay. I think I've got it. Jesus, I moved everything around. Also, Discord's lighting up. Thank you for that. Old Man Lawrence will figure out how to control Discord one of these days. Plubus, thank you for the resub. Grace, thank you for the resub. Good to see you at RTX. So I'm fucking clue what you said to me at the rave. Oh, boy. If you remind me what I said around it, I might be able to summon it back up, but... Um, oh, but yeah. Sorry. Insomniwack, thank you for the resub. I missed a lot of resubs here. Erda Cooper, thank you. One month away. That's exciting. Uh, have I streamed any Monster Hunter World? I did on PS4 back when it came out. Um, I have not streamed it since then, although I have played through the tutorial again. I thought about streaming that today, but I was like, I'm early in the game. It's going to be boring. I'm not going to worry about it. All right. Welcome to, uh, welcome to fucking Mega Man X. What's up, Mandela Man? Thank you for the Prime sub. An awful millennial. Thank you for the resub again. Hello, Mega Player. I'm gonna buy a PC version. Uh, I have a PC version, Moe Kid. Don't you want, don't you worry about that. I am, I am really intending to play it this time, because I have friends that are interested, but they have, probably have more tolerance on PC than they did on PS4. I saw Adam was, had started it, so that's cool. When it came out on PS4, it was like, like, it's that weird situation where you think your friends might be into it, but you can't force them to play it with you. So I was just like, I'm gonna just drop this in the room, Monster Hunter's out, we could maybe record with it, but I wasn't gonna like try to push anyone to play it or, or make, make them think it was homework, because they ended up hating it. Oh, Cyborg, you're updating your brand, alright, alright. Petrol Need for Sleep, Insomniac. I like it, Insomniac. Okay, but hey, uh, thank you, thank you for letting me know about the name change. Uh, Helps me connect people in my mind instead of thinking that I've started it all over with someone new. Uh, let me put on a Mega Man appropriate lightscape. It probably won't mean much because it's, you know, still light time outside, but whatever. There we go. See, the resubs count. Um, to what? Playing songs? A little bit, but in, in very complicated scenarios. I don't know if that's, uh, if that's what you're asking or not. But yes, I think we got it all. All figured out here. So, uh, what is Rookie Hunter mode? Who cares? Oh, cool, you can play. That's kind of neat. I should have resized the screen, but whatever. What is happening to the webcam? Is the filter still on? The filter's probably still on. Hold on a second, let check this out. Uh, I, th I did not know specifically, actually, how OBS would treat that. If they would think like... That it's uh, filters per filters per scene, um, in which case that's going to get real complicated. All right. Uh, got any good gamer glove and adult diaper recommendations? New WoW expansion is dropping Tuesday and go and go ham. Oh yeah, they have the filters still on there. <sighs> Damn. Um. Hmm. Yeah, this might take levels of uh, OBS trickery that I I can't really explore right now. So, that's boring, but what you gonna do? That just means I'll have to take that filter off. Okay. You guys can just stare at me while I hack OBS wide open like a goddamn walnut. There we go. Uh, but yeah, if you want uh, gamer mode, I don't know. Get it. Work out now. <laughs> that's one thing I could say. Go in exhausted. Physically exhausted. So, like... When you're sitting there doing nothing, at least your body's repairing. Uh, get a stock of, like, good, healthy food. Um, so you, you know, just don't feel like shit at the end of the day. Wait, is the filter still there? Did I never actually click it over? Hold on. Damn it. Or are you guys just fucking with me? Are you guys being being too clever for me? You guys out, out hacking me? Foxing me up? I Yeah, I still don't know what OBS will retain and what it won't. Hmm, I was getting foxed. I was getting straight out foxed. You guys had me. Played me like a fiddle. It's <laughs> alright, I don't mind. I don't mind getting played sometime. Uh, lower difficulty, fuck that. Wallpaper. Oh, wait, I just paused. 
So the intro is actually in my fucking pre-roll, so I'm not gonna bother with it too much. That pixel shading looks funky, but I'll I'll try to roll with it. I don't know. I want you guys to tell me. Uh, what what it? It just looks weird to me. It looks like uh, looks like an emulator, which I guess is exactly what it is. But type one two three. What do you guys think? Original graphics. So that's just the street pixel scaled up. This has got a weird fuzzing, interpolating thing going on, and this has like intentional fucking scan lines. I don't mind as I ban everyone. I don't ban everyone, I just message my mods to ban everyone. Then I get to say I didn't do it. Fart Robot, thank you for the Prime sub. And Siles, thank you very much for the resub. No one plays Smooth Pixels? I didn't think so. Curious to see Type 1, 1 or 3. Anything but Type 2, it sucks ass. Alright. Like normal Pixel for like none? Yeah. Alright. Decided. Alright, that looks... Yeah, that looks grainier, but it looks correct. Varying pixel sizes freaks me out. <laughs> Which is a weird thing to say. No game audio. What, seriously? Thank you for letting me know. Uh, there's one thing that this computer refuses to do, and that is it. Alright, let me... I'm sorry, guys. Uh, I've learned that if I, if I let any of this stuff... Uh, if I let any of this stuff go too long without, uh, without shaking all the dust off, it tends to not work. Oh boy. Okay, let me try this. I'm pretty sure this will be audible. I'm gonna run a little test. Uh, let's see here. Hmm. Bard. <laughs> All right, I think we're good. Sorry about that. For real, guys. Okay, now there's actually no sound though. Okay, I actually don't hear anything now. Oh wait, I think I know why. Fuck. Hold on. God damn it. Oh boy. Okay. I changed audio settings in the middle of a game. And it dropped all audio output. Uh, did you watch Evil last weekend? No, that was RTX. So I, uh, it was going on during RTX. Top eights were like right as the show finished. So I didn't get anything. So now the Elgato's fucking up. All right, that makes sense. That would happen now. <clears throat> okay, hold on. Let me jiggle another cord. Hey, yeah, it sh it sure does say no fucking. Oh wait, hold on. Okay, I think I got it. Click that. Move that. Click that button. You don't get everything, all right. You don't get to see it and hear it at the same time. <laughs> what kind of stream do you think this is? Uh, formal? You like the oh, you like the uh, dude super RTX manual? That's cool. Good. I I always uh ah uh, that fuck's going on. Hold on, there's I heard thuds outside. Okay, I think it's just people next door. Um. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe... I don't know how to think about this. I feel like, uh... Live podcasts are a weird thing. They feel weird to me. Everything about it's weird. Because it's like a betrayal of the format. I feel like a podcast is a... It's a talk show, and it feels intimate because it's you and the host, and that's it. Uh... Um, so when people just do the same thing live, it feels weird, especially if you're listening to it after the fact. Hey, listen to an audience reaction over what is essentially small talk, an hour's worth of small talk. Entertaining small talk, but small talk. Um, it's always strange to me that that would be like an event that people would want to go to, or that people would even want to listen to that event after the fact. Wouldn't a live podcast just be radio? Sort of, but it's still just the DJ and the music. Like, you don't hear everyone else listening to the radio. So, I don't know, I feel like a live podcast should be an event or something like that. They should be different. Um, 
I should. I feel like they should offer something to people that something special to people that listen to the podcast a lot, and also like provide a good time to people that don't listen to the podcast every time. Like, it shouldn't be in jokes, but it should still acknowledge. I don't know. I don't know where I'm going with this. But anyway, that was that was my idea to like be like, okay, maybe this this is a way to make this fun and different and special. And uh, yeah, holy shit. It was it was inter interesting. I hope it. Um, everyone seems to seems to have liked it, so that's good. I never. I always wonder like how much weird internet shit you can actually get away with in polite company. I'm pushing those boundaries, man. Uh, only those, though. <laughs> I'm a hero. Is what I'm saying. Uh, you ever played something from Degen Runpa? Would you ever be to stream it? Uh, I have played and streamed it. But I'm super inconsistent. Uh, I I got to the first like trial and uh, trigger happy havoc, and that's as far as I've gotten in the game. So I've started it. Uh, I have with a capital S started it, but I have not finished it. Nor really substantially gotten very far in it at all. One of the stream regulars is a huge fan of that series and has been leveraging for me to play it for a while. And if I had a brain on my head, I'd listen. Oh, yeah? You like the live YouTube? Awesome. Thank you, Chris. Nice seeing you again, by the way. <laughs> Thank you, Gamer Wave Oven. Hey, we all got stuff going on. Don't worry about it. This will be uh, kept as a VOD on Twitch, and will be visible on YouTube in maybe uh, half a year when I finally upload it. I finally uh, unjammed my, my YouTube flow, basically. I ignored it for a solid month and a half just because of some... That was like a really annoying problem I was having with Premiere. It's, it's funny how problems stick up and you just ignore the whole pile, basically. That's where I was at, but I fixed it. And it's just like, man, problems down the line. My... So my overclock settings... I almost died on the first stage, holy shit. Overclock settings were just fine for playing games. So my computer would never ever crash. But it would crash if I left it on overnight to upload videos to YouTube. Which I frequently had to do because my recordings are pretty big. I, I record 1440p, pretty high bitrate, that whole, that whole shit, because I'm a dork. Uh, so the videos take a long time to upload, and when it fucking crashes every night, not only does it bum me out, because the one thing that needs to be stable in my life is my PC, uh, and the second thing is, those are really long uploads, and I have to start them all over a million times, and blah, 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 blah. Oh, someone, some, someone, sh oh boy. Someone summoned Shenron during top eight. I was, I was waiting for something like that to happen at EVO. I saw a top eight match where they had all the Dragon Balls, and I was like, "Why doesn't? Why don't they just summon Shenron and like ask for ask for a partner back? It's free, right?" I don't know the uh, I don't actually know the gameplay implications of summoning Shenron all that much. Yeah. What's up, AK? All right, RTX was fun. RTX was was awesome. There were fewer uh, social obligations this year. Um, there was like, well, there was one less signing, and then the live events were not as not booked as heavily as they have been in the past. So, um, I don't know. It was it was more humane than than it has been. Uh, I had I got more rest and more water, so that's good. I made it through without getting sick. Uh, back at work. No complaints. And it's always fun meeting people, too. Uh, I was just focusing on sort of the determining factors for me. That's kind of an assumed thing, because I'm very lucky in that way. I guess in that regard, it was nice to meet up with people and not just be completely drained. Um, going to are currently playing Dead Cells. Yes, I am currently playing it. Um, I started Salt and Sanctuary as well. So... Uh... Those are very similar games, um, sort of. One's just one's roguelike, one's like a Souls-like. I guess they have their they have their differences, but it feels very similar. Let's see here, I could tell you guys had more fun. It was super fun to watch. Oh, I'm glad to hear that. Um, sometimes I wonder if uh, like it's easy it's easy to it's a minor complaint, but. I do wonder sometimes if if there is like an actual problem in that 
we get exhausted and then it hurts hurts the quality of the content and so like the bottom line of the company takes a hit because we're not putting out good stuff i wonder to to what degree that is an actual factor like how noticeable it is but it's like what it's like a real crappy argument to make right like it's not it's not too many shades away from that to being like well i have to fly first class because cuz i'm the talent right and i if i don't look good no one like no one cares people need me to <laughs> people need me to have all these free drinks and a bed that reclines all the way for this 3 hour flight don't you understand i'm doing it for you <laughs> so yeah i don't know was, there's shades of that like i definitely want to go don't want to go down that road played enter the gungeon yes i have uh they made an update that made the game better. Yeah, everyone was talking about that all of a sudden. Which is weird. I thought that game was like a year and a half old. I played it when it came out a bit. I was like, yeah, this, this is fun. I played it until I was like, yeah, I'm, I'm feeling it. I could, I feel like I could beat this, but... Or like, I don't know. Just keep putting time into it, keep going. I could do that. It's not on Switch now, I guess. Yeah, I like that game. I like games like that. The good one's like... The good ones, it's amazing because it is sort of a factory of retro games. A, di a procedurally generated retro game. We truly are blessed. T-Post photos were all cursed. They were they were going wild on that one. I like that meme. That's some good shit. Oh yeah, I'm missing the story. Oh! Yes, that's what the bonking is. Daryl is exploring my robot vacuum. Uh, dude was like wedged in a corner for a couple of weeks and we didn't find him, but then we, we excavated him, fed him, emptied his little dirt tray, got him back on the job. I really like recordings of live podcasts, but this one was really great because the audience engagement added to the show. Doivash, yeah, that was kind of my... That was also my rationale. Because, yes, people laughing uproariously at somebody who's like, So I went to eat a cheeseburger the other night, and everybody's like, Yeah! He's doing the cheeseburger thing! And you're just like... It, two people having brunch should not should not have an audience <laughs> whatever man uh, so yeah I was I, that's kind of what I was hoping too it's like the audience reaction to that it comes at times when reactions should happen um, and only and only enhances the the relative celebration of whatever the fuck that was but yeah no I'm glad you guys brought that up but not to toot my own horn I'm pretty proud with how that went um It's a, it's a bummer though, like, and podcasting is a rough game. You can, you can put out something, but it's like, it's episode 180, and everyone's just like, pass. And you're like, yeah, I get it. I, I would too, dude, I would too. Uh, I'm envious of certain podcasts that can like, grow. They just grow at a steady rate. They just find people. I don't know. I'm doing, I'm doing all the tricks that should do that. It's not working. Or it is working, just not on a timetable that... I'm comfortable with. It is interesting being long haul on a on a particular production. I think Dude Soup is the longest thing I've ever worked on. If uh, I guess if we ever get back to like doing a gaming news show, it would be that. So yeah, I'll go through a lot of like phases. What was the audience reaction to the podcast compared to your expectations? I mean, the audience reaction was great. YouTube reaction is not so hot, which is a bummer. Um, I was hoping it would do better on YouTube. To me, that's the one, it's the biggest nut to crack right now. Oh, thank you, Austin. One of the best parts of your week? No, I appreciate that. Um, it's weird, it, like live events and stuff, people will make a point to say that they really like the show, which is great. I, I like it. Um, I'm pretty fond of where it is now, and like, there's some things that I want to keep working on. So yeah, I'm not I'm not displeased with it on any, any regard, other than it's really hard to get people to listen to it, which should point to like a failure in the content. I don't know. I think around and round about it. There's a lot a lot of stacked against it. It's the longest show on the channel, um, which is already getting fewer and longer videos. So that's not good um, in terms of like what people want to consume, what they're primed to consume. 
that's fine. It's not a problem I can fix, aside from making it shorter. But then it's like, I can't decrease the number of ads, which is kind of a bummer. Like, what, is, what does the audience get for that? I guess they get a shorter show, but I've also heard in the past that, like, people don't like it when I cut, cut people off because we have to end. So, you know, it's a bunch of... A bunch of weird factors that I'll have to balance out. It's fun though. I love, I love, I love problems that don't have a correct solution, you know, or that are complicated. A bunch of things to all think about all at the same time. It's like StarCraft. It's a perfect length while doing other computer stuff. Don't have time to listen to two plus hours. <sighs> I mean, that's a very long time. So yeah. Mm. Nighthawk. Do I read PMs I get on Twitter? I do, but uh, it kind of in bulk. Uh, Typically I'll go a week or so, and then I'll just read read them all when I have like an hour, and respond to to ones that seem like they're either asking a genuine question or uh, or saying something profound. You know, sometimes I'll just get haze and highs, and I don't really respond to those. Got to work, got to work for my time. I'm worth it. Listen, Rooster Teeth. I need at least four bottles of champagne on that flight. I may not drink them all, but do you really want to take that risk? Do you want to be the one? Do you want to be the one that I throw under the bus when somebody asks me why I won't take a selfie with them at the airport? It was because there were only three bottles and they were room temperature. So. And I'll give them your email. I'll do it. What other platform uh, is Receipt available on? Uh, it's on pretty much everything. Or sorry, Dudesu? Yeah. Um... It's on, it's on Spotify, which is fucking rad. Uh, Google Play, iTunes, Stitcher. No, it, it's it's performance across all platforms isn't bad. Um, you know, it's not it's not like world class numbers. Um, but I also haven't been going as long as a lot of the world class podcasts have been, or been like part of part of like really good trends. Which is not to say that people that follow trends are bad. Whatever numbers are king. I don't give a shit. Just trying to make sure that like I don't come across as bitter about any of this stuff. Um, but like true crime podcasts and stuff like that, they'll blow up because you know it's just a that's just a thing. People like hearing about it. Um, but for dude soup, oh, it's got some kind of nestled in between comedy, tech, and gaming. So maybe it's, it is pretty broad in its approach, and I, that was also on purpose. Man, that is a really nice sound effect, though. So, yeah. I mean, it does... So, it, it's funny, because, like, this is another thing where... For, for gameplay videos... It's pretty easy to look at the performance of a gameplay video and be like, that did good, or that did bad. Um, because they usually don't support ads, and... Uh, how did that guy respawn? They don't support ads. It's just, like... We put these here to entertain people. Was it funny? Um, did people watch it? Like, can we make people watch it? That's basically it. That's all it is to it. But for the podcast, it's it's a lot of considerations. If it, as long as it sells ads, it does what it's supposed to do, which is just earn revenue. But um, apart from that, it's like it affects the health of the channel if it doesn't get enough views or enough watch time. I should should be clear. Um, and that may prevent other videos from getting seen. Just in terms of the way YouTube uh, will recommend a channel's content or specific videos. So yeah. Oh, the Sonic vs. the Flash. And I'm glad we finally put that issue to bed. I mean... I shouldn't even need debating, you know? This is one of those there are not two sides. Sonic is the fastest and that is it. I don't even understand. Honestly, I was trying not to get pissed off. People were talking about how Flash might be faster, or as fast. I mean, faster is just... we can just put that right out. Does it change anything that I watch it at 1.25 speed? No, no, no. Um, not at all. Almost nothing. Uh, here... Do you guys... do you guys care? Because I can... I can get very bizarrely specific about what performance and podcasts mean. It's a... it's different than... than video. Any idea what the best channel or videos on the Funhouse channel are? Weed Shop, I'm assuming we're up there with Demo Disc and Weehaus. Um, it depends, yeah, I mean, as previously discussed, I guess it means what you mean by best. 
like most watched or earned most money. The drunk gameplays are typically number one. Um, yeah, and aside from that, Wheelhouse and Demo Disc are like the highest performing videos. Also the videos with the most porn. Um, there are some breakout videos that do really well. GTA is like one of those things that just always hits a really predictable baseline, which makes it useful. You want to hear? Oh, you're down here to hear me say things. All right. Well, here you go. Here's Here are podcast metrics from the perspective of me. Um, I've tr So my only experience is having run one. I've never been taught a, a thing about it. I've never gone to seminars or anything, which I probably should, actually. Shit, now that I think about it. Um, so, YouTube is fairly known what helps on YouTube. Watching a long video all the way through to the end and then watching several videos after that. Um, basically, YouTube prioritizes recommendation of videos that make people consume more YouTube. Go figure. So, if you're the first video somebody watches and then you go on to watch 20 other ones, YouTube's like, fuck yes! This video kept somebody watching YouTube videos, which keeps them consuming ads. So, we will prioritize it to go higher in people's search sessions, or... So that they get... It's more likely that they will get, uh, they will go on to watch a chain of videos. Podcasts can't track that. Because, uh, when you listen to a podcast, you either stream it from a source, which could track it, but traditionally... You, uh... It's just a link. You download a MP3 on your phone, and then you play it back. So, they don't... Once you download the MP3, your phone doesn't really report back about what you did and how much you played of it. It does now, but it didn't used to. And since uh, all the metrics and ad tracking were built around them, that's what they care about. So most uh, most podcasts will circulate their download numbers, which is just the number of phones they've gone on to. Modern streaming services have kind of upended that a little bit. Um, some services now will rehost the file, so it counts as one download. So then you have to com combine uh, download hits from your RSS feed, which just put the download link out there, and then all the track metrics from all the services that download and rehost your file and add them all together. And then that is the number of people that your podcast has reached. That's important to sell a podcast. Uh, so just telling people to subscribe to a podcast is enough for a podcast to sell ads. The second problem is uh, conversion. So advertisers will buy ads on a podcast. Uh, and then they'll track how many people visit the URL they're given, uh, how many people actually spend money. And then they do a, like a cost per user, cost per acquisition analysis. Which is, for the money I spent, how many paying customers did I get? And if it hits a certain baseline, that's a good podcast to buy with. Um, if not, they might have like fed up numbers or their audience just doesn't spend money. Like from the advertiser's perspective, if the conversion is not high, they don't, they don't re-buy. Um, shit. Fuck. I was just spacing out. I haven't died on that boss in a long time. <sighs> so, um, there are two signs of health for a podcast. One is that they book ads in the first place, and the second is that those advertisers book again. Um, which means that the show converted enough users that it was, it was worth buying again or had a good enough experience or something. I'm used to like dash being no. It's so weird. I'm used to, like it's baked into my head that dash is on the dash is on the shoulder buttons, but I'm pretty sure that you didn't have that in this game. You just had to double tap or hit A, which is on the opposite side of the keyboard. Keyboard, joystick, whatever. So when it comes to health of the podcast, as far as I know, fuck, I just don't have the timing. As far as I know, um. Doing well enough because it's still selling ads. If there were a series of weeks we had no ads and had to keep making it, that'd be a little scary. But I also don't want it to tank the health of the YouTube channel. Ooh! Thank you, Rainer, for the resub. Sorry, guys, I was uh, concentrating to kill Bird, Birdbot. Gotta go again to deal with more stupid? Ain't that the way. Sorry you are combating stupid right now. It's a tough thing. Tough thing to live down. 
You ever find useful materials or ideas from other podcasts that you've listened to? Yes, I'm not gonna lie. Um, hard netting basically came from stealing "Who's Mom and Harder" from a yeah dude. Um, which is to say, the idea of like inventing playful interactive segments. I mean, interactive is a dumb dumb word, but something with like structure, framework, a bit, a beginning, middle, and end, like a, a very short game show. Like, hey, it's time for this. What do you guys think about this or this? Like giving giving very structured and pre-planned uh, talking points. So yeah, um, yes. Although I I try to change it enough so it's not a outright theft. I mean they have something else. Yeah, it was called Dude Soup Battle. Jim saved it with a dope name. He really did. He really did. Any chance of seeing Alana on the next Dude Soup? I think it's very likely. Yep. I mean, come on, there's a there's a pretty delicious headline there that I can't pass up. Does folk like me moving from watching on YouTube to watching on RT first make a difference in podcast health stats wise, or is that for factored into podcast health and or channel health conditions? Um A little bit. Um that's when that's when it gets real weird. Because we as a group have a lot of different goals. So uh you watching content on Roosie.com satisfies one of our goals. Me selling a podcast for money satisfies one of our goals. You watching on YouTube satisfies one of our goals. Don't worry about what you're doing. Um, it's our job to sort of figure that out. Uh, like telling people what to do doesn't work, if that makes sense. Uh, and it shouldn't. Um, we should make, make, we should do our jobs to, I guess, create the situation the company wants us to. Uh, but yeah, anyway, maybe I assumed your intention. Most people ask with the uh, ulterior thing of being like, well, what should I do to help you guys? Uh, and in that case, man, if you're watching, that's enough. Finished Hollow Knight. I did. I think I got the true ending, but I could be wrong about that. Um, Spark Mandrel next, pretty sure. Or is it Flame Mammoth? Do Spark, whatever. Have you talked to the kind of funny guys about their approach to podcasting? Even their focus seems to be primarily podcasts that listens off of YouTube. No, I haven't. I should do that. I should listen to their podcast, too. I don't know. I I listened to a few podcasts, and they sounded so similar. Like, I could already tell. I was like, man, this is this is totally a podcast with, like, a capital P. Something about that makes me not want to listen to podcasts so that I don't sound like every other podcast. But the problem is, like, they all do it because the things they do are largely good ideas. That's a long wind-up to say that basically I don't listen to a lot of podcasts. Which... Partially, I'm like, I guess, experimenting with operating in a slight vacuum. But I think that makes me ignorant to good ideas that I could adapt into better ideas. Or just improve the quality of the show. I don't know. These are things I think about. And I think I, you know, ought to. That's kind of the job, right? What's up, uh, Seagra? Thanks for the content, well, I appreciate that. I wouldn't call it content, but I'm glad that you enjoy... Oh, maybe in my actual job, yeah. That's fun. Um, watching YouTube all the way through, being an entire hour longer YouTube video, does that make a good impact for you guys? Or does watch time not matter as long as the video is watched to completion? I mean, watch time does matter, absolutely. Uh, I, guess, I guess the thing is... So sorry, watch time matters in so much as YouTube wants to reward any video that contributes to the consumption of content on its platform. So if you're a channel with a lot of watch time, YouTube just says, hey, people are watching your content a lot. Great. Um, that makes us want... Um, we want to show your video to more people now. Because it clearly works. It keeps people here. You're our buddy. Uh, that's the idea. Shit! Now, the, tr the truth is, no matter what, something that's an hour and a half long and it's just people talking at a table, that is never going to be content that will be ranked up in, in that way. And, like, YouTube search and stuff. So maybe I shouldn't even try to play that game. Like, why even, why even try to acknowledge it? I guess you have to fight it. Is that the motivation behind Funhouse TV? Not really, no. It's not... It's not pushing that amount of watch time to be a factor in that conversation. I think it was more like just 
you know. I think the idea is we'd be more spontaneous with it. But I think, like, our spontaneity is already spoken for. I really need some health. Poor X isn't looking too hot. I got hit by a spider bot. It fell on me. That's pretty heavy. Oh yeah, there was a hype. Shit. Ooh! God, this music is pretty sweet, though. Good amount of pe people love that shit for background noise. True. But, um... I don't know. That's So that's one thing I have yet to see. I've seen it a lot with, like, music services. Aside from, like, the lo-fi hip-hop stuff that YouTube pushes up because it's live. I'm surprised that YouTube hasn't, like... Maybe there's a subtle way they do it, but... To me, YouTube hasn't doesn't have a button that says you're putting the shit on in the background. Like here's your background playlist. And yeah, it could just be a bunch of long boring stuff. I'm gonna fix that bike that week? This week? Yes I am, Austin. I think. Hey Dr. Swordfish. Thanks for the resub, but yes, dirty dimmy. That's a hot sub. That's a hot fresh sub. It's got some roast beef on it. And some cheese and maybe some horseradish. I think you're into that, but you should try it because it's good. It works. It works together. I'm not a big fan of horseradish, but it works this way. I guess it's true what they say. You know, everything has something that works with it. I don't know. That's not what people say. All right, I was gonna find something to play, or at least I did know something to play. But okay, good. Yes. I, yeah, I believe it's this track. I got it. There's a, there's a part that's good in it. Yeah, that'll work. Okay. Alright, Dimmy. Thanks for the sub. DJ Disappointment. Thank you for this resub as well. Did you listen to the Vine's new album? I didn't know they had a new album. Um, but this is an old album. Thanks for the sub. Please enjoy the song. It is dope. All right. Is there anything back? Okay, yes. Nope. All right, back. Yeah, Colin, don't worry about it. Sounds like you gotta you gotta save your money right now. I mean, honestly, gosh, the amount of money that flows through Twitch is just wild sometimes. Hello. I can't I can't decide like I can feel the old person inside of me being like this is stupid um, But you know if it makes people happy. It's not stupid So it's interesting to try to balance those two things, you know, all right There's you can do some fucking magic leaps. Oh 
Shit! Oh wait, is there another one? Oh hey, let do that. Thank you. Is that a sub high? Usually it has to be like two gifts. Imagine if the amount of money donated to streamers was given to the needy. Well, Hamby, yeah, we can chase that down. Uh, how? Like it funds a shelter? It uh, give people some like clothes and water and stuff. Be get them nice and toasty for a couple of nights. Yeah, that would be humane. But like, that's not to say like all. I'm just flipping the idea on you. A lot of them are still gonna be on meth and shit. You gotta hire caseworkers to like try and really help them, like learn their situation and try and improve it. Okay. That's really expensive though, because they gotta have insurance and. Gotta do background checks and stuff. And that's when it's like, that's when people are like, well, pfft, we're wasting all our money. Like, oh, shit, man, we're trying to. I don't know. I, I see these things happen, I'm like, man, none of this is this. Everything's so complicated. You can't just throw money at a problem and fix it, usually. Not a big one like that. But yes, it would be nice. To me, like, even though it's, it might be corrupt too, I feel like, uh, oh shit. Three or hype. Fuck me. All right. Yeah, we gotta we gotta play a song for that. Oh, not this song. Wasting is not equal helping people. It's not the same as helping. All right, I think I misunderstand. Didn't want to throw out any accusations. Hopefully, those are not loaded statements. Don't want anyone to feel bad about the things they enjoy or uh, take pride in, things they work towards. Absolutely not. Or suggest that you know. Attempting or even giving them money is futile. Definitely not, not that. Because that's how change happens. Sorry, this is all a big walk back. I just want to make sure that nothing comes across wrong. How heavy, does, how heavy does your music collection get? It doesn't. It's all in a cloud somewhere. Alright. This is a special band. It's special for a reason. Uh, I discovered it in the best, best possible way. Uh, I'm trying to... This band is so special, I'm trying to remember what part of the song to play. Oh my god. Hold on a second. You th yeah, Hollywood Undead is a really good guess. No, th it's better. It's better than Hollywood Undead. Alright. Thank you so much for the three year subs. Also, it was really good meeting you. Um, I'm gonna give you... Uh, yeah, it's, it's a great track. It's, it's just very complex. That's just great. Oh boy. I uh so that was yeah, somebody in chat had, had said it actually, that is back. Uh or back? Actually you just realized it may be a more Australian thing. They're like a prog metal band that was a like a sponsor, or they were inserted in the bags at RTX Australia. And I read the pamphlet and I was like, that sounds fucking rad. Cause it basically just sounded like a um 
a Rush or a fucking Dream Theater album. Turns out it's totally a Dream Theater album. It's pronounced Bach? Yeah, it could be. I don't know. Anyway, they sent me a they sent me a backpack, which uh, has baked beans in it, and uh, an album, and some T-shirts, which was fucking cool of them. Uh. Oh shit! Fuck! I got tricked. I'm actually dying to bosses. This is weird. Oh hey, Oakley. It was nice meeting you. Welcome. Yes, Mr. Video Games has returned again. But yes, they sent me beans. Um, because apparently Back Beans is a brand in Australia, maybe? Only game remote engaged here. Oh, I missed one. Oh, whatever, he's dead. Uh, so yes, um, I guess they, I, cause I had Bruce read one of their flyers, uh, cause it was like talking about, um, uh, navigating through, uh, musicals, stratospheres, and blending trance synth with, uh, Middle Eastern sounds and things. Anyway, it was great. Um, my kind of shit. But somehow, in all that, I didn't actually listen to an album. They actually sent me a CD. And some, for some reason, that joggled it loose in my head where I was like, huh. And I just put the CD down and then looked up the album and added it to my, like, online library. I don't know why it didn't occur to me I could have just done that at any moment. So weird. Oh, yeah, WoW expansion tomorrow. Possible podcast topic on long-running online games, maybe. 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 Um, you know, it's, it's a fun coffee question of, like, hey, how have MMOs changed over the years? That's nothing anyone's going to want to click on. Uh, no, like, no offense. That, I would want to listen to that, but... That might be good as, like, a backup thing. Uh, let's see here. Who's next? Play Mammoth? Yeah. No face cam? Is it off? What? Come on. Is there actually no face cam? Why are you not playing No Man's Sky with Bruce and Adam? They need your help. Uh, didn't they start, like, Prima characters or something? Are they playing right now? I don't know. Oh, face, face cam is working. Oh, okay. Huh. All right, it freaked me out for a second. I don't know. I mean, any technical problems that should occur, I'm sure I would handle with grace and aplomb, with my usual sense of freewheeling ease and uh, unshakable demeanor. However, gosh, it would be annoying if something else messed up. I feel like I finally got it. Uh, but yeah, as far as No Man's Sky goes, I don't know. Maybe they're just playing together. That's cool. Also, I don't know. I don't know. I feel like I already put my time in with that game, and the patch is cool and all, but it's still No Man's Sky. I don't know. I feel like... Mm, yeah, I feel like experiencing it with a friend first is the way you should do that. Because, like, when I'm finding all this stuff, I'm like, ugh, this again. And everyone else is like, oh, wow, this! And I'm like, yeah, the... Our reactions do not do not vibe up right now, and I'm just kind of being a bummer. Damn it. Were you legit excited to play it at first, or was it an obligation? And a little bit of both, if I'm not lying. Uh, Game Freak, thank you for the prime sub. Um, it was both because, I mean, it wasn't an obligation for work. Uh, I have an obligation to sweet lady video games. So, when there's a game that's that big, I'm going to play it, even if I want to or not. Uh, just to know what's going on with it. And also, just to kind of keep my mind open, you know? I don't want to, like, judge something and not, like, actually play it. I don't, I don't like that shit. So, even if I'm not super hot on, on, on something, if it's popular enough, I'll put time into it just to figure it out. And that's what that was. I'd, I'd played procedurally generated games before. And I didn't see anything about No Man's Sky that made me think it was not going to have those issues. And it had those issues, again. Will spoil my expectations? No. No, we, I mean, I agreed with him. We, we, uh, I bring it up, um, 
I, sh I guess, not to be defensive. It is funny how the, uh, like, that's the, the roll that got shook out. Uh, Monster Hunter release re-release took steam by storm. It's real, it's real topical. I haven't seen anything except like the review, the review shit going down. What uh, what else happened? Are there some? Is there some? Are there articles about it that I could catch up on? Shit, man, try to double tap on the uh, Xbox controller. I don't know. Maybe my thumb's getting all old and slow. I can only have four people per per universe. Still bugs the shit out of me. Oh, what is that? I don't even know what that means. I was in. You mean like when you're out, out in the world? Because I was in like a lobby of like eight people last night. Ah. God. Ah, fuck you. I don't need you in my life. Why are they? We live in a world of laser cannons, and these guys have medieval maces that they throw out and swing back. New Red Dead trailer? Yeah. That looks real good, man. Rockstar still makes some fucking video games. I, how do they do it? How do they do that? Also, Doom Eternal. Ugh. I'm into it. I'm into it. Man. Everyone was so worried about, like, single-player games. They were so worried. Ooh! Ooh, the microtransactions gonna steal our video games! No! They're gonna go away! We won't have any! We'll all be gone! They said, all of them! We must fight this! We must enter the trenches, men! Grab your rifles, it's time! They're charging for stuff in multiplayer games! <laughs> Get the pitchforks, let's go! Oh, you need to finish Doom? Man, it's on, uh... It's on Switch. It's on everything. It's on X. It's on Game Pass. Gotta play that shit. It's good. Yeah, shoulder-mounted rocket launcher. He had fucking wrist blades. He had a shoulder-mounted goddamn flamethrower. Grapple, grapple and dodge is some real shit. That game is turning into a gut like a bullet hell. Could you imagine having to like? Uh, grapple, dodge, boost, uh, through, like, uh, enemy fire? If the enemies were that thick. But I don't think they can be in that game. It was, like, what, like, 15 demons? Although, you toss an archviol or two in there, and that shit gets real complicated. I'm into it. it. Seems like Rockstar's response to people like me, that were all pissy when we didn't get expanded single-player story in GTA V. Not that the one we had was bad, I was just hankering for some of that sweet story DLC. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, Heist is, was really good. Um, so, if you if you think about it, like... GT5 and Heist, except Heist is just you buying a shark card. Like, that's what it costs. That's not so bad. And yeah, God of War New Game Plus, I've been waiting for that, actually. I wanted to play it on Brutal, but... Fuck, man, the difficulty curve in that game is whack. Like, it's all front-loaded. The second you start getting a few, like, runes that work, you are just breezing. Um, so, yeah. I didn't want to play... Like, I wanted to play God of War and Brutal at the end of the game. Yes. I'm allowed to say that, Formal. Uh, like, I wanted, I wanted to be able to switch, because once you get over a particular hump, the game gets a lot easier. I wasn't looking forward to trying to get over that on Brutal to get to like the game when it levels off a bit. All right, where am I going? I guess I can get the heart tank, armor, gun upgrade. I guess I have electricity. Yeah. Splatterhouse is metal, and so is Hexen. Yeah. It's the most metal game ever. Is there anything that comes close to it? Um. I guess it depends what you mean. Like, Brutal Legend, like, there are things that are literally metal. Dark Souls can be pretty metal. Bloodborne's pretty metal. I don't know. Good question, though. 
I think these days, yeah. Give me God of War difficulty. A fucking puzzle? Wait. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Give me God of War. Was it puzzle? Yeah, yeah, yeah. When you have to, like, really scrutinize... It basically becomes turn-based. Like, you have to decide what to do in between enemies that attack you. Like, you only, you only have time to do one or two things. So you have to sort of plan them out with... A whole shitload of precision. I can't remember, is this the one that has something behind it? Or is that the other ones? I'm pretty sure it's, maybe it's the other ones? Or that's just the training one? Just let you see there's power-ups. I'm gonna check. Ah! You tried the Surge aka Cyber Dark Souls? Oh, the Surge? Yeah, I played it a little bit. I played it pre-release, though. Um, I don't know. It seemed fine. I hate to be, like, it was pre-release, so I need to check it again. Uh, I don't know anything else about it aside from that, I guess. Yeah, I checked it out. Just clipping up my wax. Can't prove him wrong, though. Bruh! Oh, Dirty Jimmy, yeah. Okay, so you're the only other person I've seen bring up the Splatterhouse that was on 360 PS3. Because I thought that game was awesome. And nobody played it. I guess I can't blame anyone. It's not like, not like people are sitting around going, where's... Man, what happened to Splatterhouse? What happened to that cool game? Er Hold on. I'm see seeing something about Dark Elf Kings over there. I'll get there in a second. This is the one you have to race in front of, I believe. <sighs> it took me 50 tries to beat the Dark Elf King on the hardest difficulty. Yeah, that's kind of at the end of the really hard sequence. If you're playing on harder stuff, that doesn't... Sounds about right. How to go on holiday abroad, so where I have gone to Japan. Um, and I'm gonna go to London, but that's for RTX, so... That's some stuff. Mm. Yeah, Sir Sloan. It's like Dada Sea to the West was awesome. That's why, like, that game and DMC, that pairing of, uh, what was it? Alex Garland and, uh, that was Ninja Theory, wasn't it? Yeah. Um, they did some really amazing games. Like, they were onto some cool shit. I was curious to see what they would keep doing with, like, character action games like that. But I guess, uh, I guess DMC just didn't, didn't hit or something. Kind of a bummer, but... Hell yeah. Are you even playing Yakuza 0? And that's another... I'm very glad that that's, that's taken a run at a, a different kind of audience, because... Yeah, I mean, people that, like... Are worried about single player games, I feel like they haven't played a lot of them. Or they have a lot of free time because there's there's a lot out there. I guess it's all getting pretty hybridized though. Petition making no cut content for Smash Ultimate more, more like melee. I've not seen that. But I like it. I like it a lot. I like that somebody's I like that the petition is where we go. Does this mean that they're like their forum accounts got banned, so they're like, shit! Nintendo, you must acknowledge me! To change.org I go! Ooh. From the depth of my petition, I stab at thee! Knife. Internet knife. He will take Falco out! Yeah, the internet will sign anything remotely edgy. We're just all trying to be edgy out here. It's tough. Some other underrated games you like? Huh. I don't know. I guess, like, anything from software made that isn't a Souls-like? But even though, like, there are even Souls-like they made that... Whatever. They made a cool game called Enchanted Arms, like a 
card action game. It was totally the wrong time to make it, but they did. But it's this weird sprawling card action RPG strategy game in the 360 PS3 era. It was like, this this game should not exist. How did they make this? Why did they make this? This is not... I don't know. It was a wild swing. Alright, I forget who's weak to that shit. Oh yeah, it is you, isn't it? Change.com? What the hell? Death Accelerated! Thank you for the Prime sub. Oh yeah, thoughts on the Smash Direct? Uh... I thought, I thought fucking swiping away Luigi's soul was a nice touch. Man. Nintendo's getting a real fun sense of humor. I wasn't ex actually wasn't expecting fucking Simon Belmont, Richter or whatever, to show up. I thought Konami was just done. I don't know what, I don't know what even the... I can't fathom a world in which that happens. Like, if, if, if it was just a, if... Nintendo had to pay for it, right? They had to. Or something? I don't know, those two companies aren't even really, like, in the same space anymore. So it's weird to me. It's really weird to me. I wanna, I wanna understand this. The only way it makes sense is that Nintendo paid Konami for the rights. But why would they do that? There's no reason. Aside from making some people go, oh, on Twitter. Maybe they're just that fucking crazy. I never got the pattern for this right. I never figured out how to dodge that one. It just seems like it's gonna hit you. Whatever. You've been shot in half now. That G is a madman. They're all madmen, all of them. I got donked. Riding would be pretty cool, yeah. I'm gonna watch the international. Ah, uh, no. Hook. Um. And like in years past, I would have considered it an obligation to keep abreast of what's going on with Dota 2, but I can I think I can comfortably put <laughs> something's weird. Something's weird. I feel like it's laggy. I don't want to blame it. I mean there's things I'm used to being able to do that just aren't working anymore. Anyway. It's because my mom walked in front of me. Alright. Jesus. Weird. You still play Overwatch? Uh, I wish I could. God, I wish I could. I should, maybe? Just like one match a day? No, it's never gonna be that. It's never gonna be that. Uh, I don't know. I feel like I don't have the time... Like, every time I play, I feel like I have to warm up for like an hour, and then I start having fun matches. So now I've just associated that with it, whereas if I just played more often, I wouldn't have that experience. So I'm in this weird state of being like, I feel like with the amount I can play it, I can play it, I won't have a good experience because I'm not playing at the level I want to play at, if that makes any sense. That's kind of how I... That's the weird mental loop I go into when I think about playing Overwatch. I'm like, man, I'm just, I'm just gonna suck, suck crap for... 20 minutes, and it's gonna hurt. It's gonna hurt real bad. God, it's gonna hurt. Want more new IPs, but I'm genuinely frustrated Bioware is focusing on a Destiny clone rather than a Dragon Age 4. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Especially if, if you want Dragon Age quality stuff, I don't think there's been a lot to reinforce to you that it's going to hit those marks. What they've shown is like, yeah, let's get in robot suits and fly around. Cool. I can understand why you'd be a little... A little biffed. Sorry. There's a fan on my mouth, so it's getting a little dry. Just out of curiosity, have you played, uh... Pillars of Eternity? Or, um... Oh, shit, there's spikes. Oh. Or the other one? 
God, what's the other one? Was it Divinity? I thought there was another. I thought there was another even like older school. <sighs> still, still play, but sh turned off team chat. That's a really good idea, actually. Shit, maybe I could do that. I don't know. I feel like that's part of what I have to work on. Is ah, ah communicating, communicating well. That is an interpersonal skill that I realize I'm not very good at. Especially in the context of a video game. Cool. That was kind of cool looking. Tower of Time is another one? Hmm, okay. I'm trying to think. I don't think it was that one. Well. Anyway. I feel like there are... I guess my ultimate point was going to be... I don't have to do this. Uh, that there are a lot of Dragon Age style games that are playable now. So, if Bioware's kind of moving on... To another like another bracket of earnings potential, then at least somebody out there is still making making those kinds of games. Just play The Witcher Three, yeah. Also valid. So there's another thing I haven't done. So it's like pretty happy with the amount of video games that exist. Anything more just means I won't get to play them. My sweet video games. They'll all go lonely. And that's just tragic. Doesn't seem like there are a lot of multiplayer games that can be enjoyed nowadays without huge time investments. Rune Six Siege, Overwatch, Dota. Yeah. I'm trying to think. Like, casual multiplayer? COD? No? That's not very fun. If you're getting... You're getting blasted. Ow. What is it? There. So yeah, I'm wondering if... To roll it all the way around to my... Very appropriate and amazing use of, uh... Language. Oh, shit. Shoulder's still a little tender. Um, yes, yeah, so if I can do New Game Plus and God of War, hopefully I can uh, use that to get through that period. Because I feel like beating the whole game, like 100%ing it on the hardest difficulty, is something I want to do. I do. I like that game enough to want to do that. But I also kind of wonder if I even have the means to do it anymore. It is truly better to have friends and do things outside, but dang. Sometimes I do miss being able to neurotically uh, just scrub a game clean of everything. Hey, JT Baston, thank you for the resub. New Spider Man? Oh, good. I forgot about New Spider Man. Sounds real good. Yeah, that's exciting. I am excited for that. I think that's going to be another one of those... And this is going to be such a goddamn tagline, but... I feel like... Even though... It, I'm trying to think how to phrase this. Like, I still have those like technologically amazed moments on... On, like, Sony first-party stuff. When somebody codes to a PS4, they do some pretty uh, cinematic shit. Like, the beginning of Horizon Zero Dawn is a pretty cool experience, just as a video game, um, or interactive video game. And the order, like, as dumb as it was, it was still, like, there was still good ten minutes of, like, holy shit, this is, like, a real thing, it's really happening. So, I feel like Spider-Man's gonna have that aspect, with me, anyway. I always like Spider-Man. 
really like Spider-Man games in general, so. That's what I expect. <laughs> That's what I deserve. It's kind of it's kind of cool to have that moment. That's on Shadow of the Tomb Raider. I'm real excited for it. I actually finished uh, Rise. I finished Rise this morning. I wanted to stream some of it, but it just ended up. I ended up playing it in between streams a lot. This guy's really beefy. I remember when there was like a lot of weird canon discussions about this robot, and then I was like, "Wow, cool. Okay, I like Mega Man, but..." I didn't know anyone gave a shit about this guy, but apparently they did. Um, I was like the early, one of the earliest fandoms I think I became aware of. People that actually like really tracked a bunch of stuff between Mega Man games. Dang it. I need water. Because I think I just saw, well, I saw hydration bot a while ago. And the wisdom of Stay Hydrated Bot lives with us all. We carry it on our tongues before we drink large, healthy gulps of water. So I'm gonna... Take a break, go get some water, use the restroom, all that stuff. Be back in a moment. And very important, here's the Cloak of Darkness. Here's how it works. I uh, thought it was a cartoon. Uh, when I came in, it was before I'd gotten my first uh, PC sound card. I didn't even realize there was voice in it. When I came in, there wasn't anyone in at that point. And uh, I didn't even realize it was a, um, a chat where multiple people could uh, come in. Yeah, I mean, after all, it was 1993. You can get inside of here, and if you spend a lot of time in here, you begin to adapt very readily to a, a completely different set of, of, of environmental rules. Uh, and actually, to me, it does become another reality, a, a second reality or a separate one. Inside of here, we are an anonymous being, and we can conduct ourselves as such. Okay. Last we left Mega Man X. Or wait, no, it's just X. Last, last we left X. He was talking to the ghostly visage of his grandfather. Being offered an upgrade to his chest armor would reduce all damage to his systems by 50%. Give me that upgrade. Oh yeah, shit. There's another Mario Party coming out this year. 
it's man switch is gonna get real good with like making you hate your friends very soon smash brothers and mario party switch some people are gonna get real drunk and real mad i hope it's gonna be the merriest time of year I mean, like swatting aggressively at somebody in the room die you die it's my star you son of a bitch Oh, a new Call of Juarez? That was always a really interesting series. Like, it was, uh... Hold on a minute. I missed an upgrade, didn't I? It was, uh, more thought-provoking than it kind of had to be. There was one after Gunslinger, right? I don't think I played that one. Pretty sure there's some stuff back here. What time is it where I am? Yeah, it's 6 o'clock. Pacific time, my bro. Yeah. Come on, me. What am I thinking? Uh, uh, uh. Kick it out. Kick it out, bro. There we go. There's, um... Certain things I've only ever done one way. Thank you... Thank you, Nintendo Power. Just because I had the in inside track. There's a lot of stages that, like, will change depending on what order you play them in. So in that case, there was water down there. Because I had beat a chilled penguin, I guess? Another stage. Uh, without that water, you can't make that jump. And that's what makes this game kind of cool. Is that things affect other things. But because I got to shortcut a lot of it, I don't even know what it's like to not have that there. Same thing with the, the, like, fire and the flame mammoth stage. It was all frozen over. I think I saw a YouTube video of it once and I was like, what is that? That's weird. That video game don't look like I thought it do. Just think of a For Honor style Star Wars dueling game. That sounds badass. Yeah, that'd be cool. That'd be very cool. You could have, like, crazy cinematic, uh, gameplay with that. Yes, make it. Colin, do it. Go do it. Send George Lucas a letter and just be like, hey, I'm, I'm gonna borrow this for a sec. Make this game. Then you make a billion dollars. You give half of it to me. And then we just, we fucking live it up, you know? Get some planes. Get some shoes. Some, like, nice shoes. That's what people do, right? They buy shoes. Let's heck. This is gonna be great, Colin. I can't wait. Get a job at EA, work on it for two years, then they cancel it and you get fired. Yeah. That's the dream, isn't it? <laughs> Ah, oh, Ninja, that stings, but it's true. What's up, Baxter? Mm. What do you do with it, man? Like... Like you said, like, two people work, or, you know, 90 people work for two years on something. And they're like, fuck it. You're all fired. Get out of here. And they're like, okay, here are the hard drives. And you're just like, fuck it. Like, what do you do? Do you just throw it over your shoulder? You set it on fire? Do you piss on it? Do you just delete it? Is it just sitting on a shelf somewhere, whatever it was? And is it, does it just sit there forever? That's it? What's up? That's a Mega Man stream. You know it is. Ha. Wait. Is this the right... I don't think this is the right gun. It's not. Huh. I guess I don't remember what he's weak to then. Well, he's weak to getting shot in the fucking face. Nope. nope. He's got an electro tongue. Damn it. 
Bruh. Well played, Chameleon. We've got a real gentleman's duel going on right now. It's getting saucy. Damn, he's fast. Oh! Nice shot! Damn it. Kinda hard to get him after the little thing. It's like this. This is all you get. Hmm. God damn it. Yeah, Boomer Twanger. I thought it was his shot. Also, what's a Kuwanger? I think I looked it up once. It's like an Australian bug or something? Hey, what's up, Mint? Thanks for the Prime sub. Yeah. <laughs> Imagine if chameleons were this big IRL. There's some dragons that are kind of that big. I guess that's what they look like when they scale up. They're literal dragons. Have you put secrets on your computer yet? No, but I do have my, do have them on my desk. I uh, I have to make a judgment about what I'm gonna put where. But yes, they're ready to go. Ugh. I like them all. To make make some very important decisions. But yes, thank you so much for giving me those. Let's see. That was part two of bikes fi fixing. Hasn't happened yet. Uh. Another recording went long, so I ended up not doing that. <sighs> Alright. I guess he's... Is that the last one? Oh, I didn't get the uh, weapon upgrade. Let's see if I can do that. Oh, Stag Beetle? Oh, okay. Okay, yeah. Stag Beetle, I get it. <laughs> Don't see dragons on the reg? Not really, no. I only see him in Planet Earth, so... Still gonna do a junk giveaway? Yes, I am. Sorry. I just have to... Yeah, I need a, I need a clean weekend sometime. Hey, uh... Shit! Oh, you're, you're tricky. You th oh, you're fancy! Alright, hold on. Let's see how this works out. Oh, I don't have the... Yeah. Whoa! Hmm... I bet I bet window would probably work. And I remember so much of the stages just run past it. I got my Jordans on. Ow! Shit! Er There. There. Fuck. Why? These are such inefficient shapes for <laughs> bombs that launch 20 feet. All right. You sub, give you a prize. Yeah. Well, you will. Uh, Theoretically, be uh, entered to win like everybody else. I just need to do a like a little bit of research and find a like a Twitch chat plugin thing bot that will allow people to opt into random giveaways or something like that. And God help me if I get fucking addresses and I don't know where it's too. That's the other thing. I need to be like shit. I probably need to put some kind of limitation on where I'm going to ship this shit to. Because, so, like, sending a piece of paper to a country can cost 50 bucks. Oh, yeah. Game Attack sub money from this month is going to Extra Life, so... Yes. Please do, please do Prime sub that. Thank you, Katie. What was the premiere for Arizona Circle? I thought it went really well. Um... Everyone seemed to really like it. 
which is great. It's a very good sign. I don't know, though, it's tough. Like, I guess the, the negative person, or the maybe cynical person in me, also warns myself that that crowd is, was already primed to love whatever they were going to see. I think uh, other other audiences might scrutinize a lot harder. So we'll see how it goes. Oh yeah. Oh, you can get this. No, you can't. Shit. I don't have either way of getting that. How to ah? Didn't get the gun. Dang. About to make cookies. Do you have any special baking tips or only cooking tips? No, I don't. I don't bake much. Sorry. Stephanie would be the one to ask. She's done all the baking. Was it doozy? I think that's good. I'm curious to see how it will do. Oh shit. Got way too distracted. Yeah? Okay, good. Some of that feedback is hardening. Uh. I keep forgetting. Uh. I can just run through most of this. Damn it. Alright. Ah! There was water dripping on my... I took a quick drink of water. Water dribbled on my controller. And then my hands were getting all slippery. God damn it. Oh, banana bunch? Good. That one, that one actually, like, got scrutinized a little heavier because we were like, there's there's a joke here. We just have to find it. But yes. It is, I think, sort of like a lot of unrestrained, unrestrained comedy from people who are very, very good at comedy. And I hope it, I hope it gets respect for that. At least. But also, it's fucking funny. I'm gonna be honest, like... It may be too good for this world. <laughs> I don't know, that sounds like a shitty thing to say, but... You work on YouTube, you see what works, man. It's, uh... It's like... Conspiracy shit or boobs. And both is an A+. Plus. Oh, damn. I gotta pick up all my upgrades, though. Gotta go get Sigma. Gotta go get Sigma. My robot friend. So there's one heart tank, gun upgrade. I know how to do it. Yeah, get fucked, dumbass, Beetle. Thank you. Toasty, you're now in charge of my one-liners, right? care. Wait a minute. Oh, I don't don't have the weapon upgrade still. All kinds of tricks that are like coming back to me and now I'm remembering I can't do because I completely whiffed an upgrade for some reason. Who cares? I'm gonna make it work. Ooh. Ooh. Just admits that's cool. What's up, Posey? How excited am I for Anthem? Eh. I'll play it. I'll play it. I think, like, even if I take out, like, take Bioware out of it, which used to be I'd, like, play their stuff without question, now there's a lot of questions, but even if I take that out of it, it still is a game that I'll be like, yeah, I'll, I'll play it. I am not yet tired of shooting things and leveling up with my friends. 
Far from it. In fact, I don't know that I'll ever get tired of that, so... I just feel like there's a lot of games coming out that are gonna try to be the one game you play all the time. Like, Destiny kinda, kinda tried to do that. And I don't know that I want more than one of those ever. I don't think I could have more than one of those ever. I always think back, I can't remember who it was, but it was, it was somebody in the FGC, they were like, you only have time in your life for one game you'll never, you'll never beat. One game you'll never finish. Makes sense. That's deep shit, bro. Played a million anthems. I have... I... I'm gonna wager I've probably play, played Anthem before, but... Maybe. It's pretty. Um, every trailer they put out seems to really reinforce that idea. It's pretty. Hey, guys, this game... Gonna be pretty. So... Maybe they're just being careful. Which I can understand. Alright! Let's get out of here. Yeah! When you have the hard take, you can get it by surfing on Chill Penguin's ability? Yes, you can! But I don't... I can't do that, because I didn't get the weapon upgrade. Which I'm gonna go do now. Bleh! I guess I just ran past it. Oh wait, is it in... Is it in flame? It's in flame, isn't it? Because, yeah. Um... Yeah, you need the, uh... Helmet to get it. That's right. <sighs> Mario Maker is the only game I'll never beat for me now. Oh, are you playing it still? It is It is really interesting to dip in on, like, Mario Maker streams every now and then and see... See, see like, the culture of map making inside Mario Maker. It's interesting. Like, there, there are trends and, like, people... We'll pick up on gameplay ideas from each other and, like, refine it and twist it and turn it into troll shit. Uh, yeah. I've always been really fascinated by that game. Or the culture around that game. Nintendo has this weird knack for making bizarre but very, very dedicated fan bases. Alright. i jump off this garbage shit. Oh, GTA V? Ugh. Katie, the more I think about it, the more treasonous it is that I haven't played the story mode GTA 5. Fuck. Man, this is weird. I never usually had this much trouble with this. There we go. Shit. Ooh. That sting. That stings. Gotta start over. Wish you could install GTA without the single player. That would be nice. It is a... It's a big installation. Hmm. There's no maybe. Um, I have not... Not finished GTA 5 because... I don't have the best excuse, really. Uh, it came out right when something real shitty happened in my life, so I didn't... I didn't like dive into it right away, or I didn't want to associate it with that uh, as much as I could. And then, like, it came out later on PC, and I was like, okay, that's when I'll play it. But I think something else happened right when that happened. So I didn't really have the time to put into it, and just never, like, never picked it up in earnest, I guess. The the stars never aligned for it, which is, is crap, because it's an amazing game. I picked the wrong stage, didn't I? No, this is right. Huh. When else gonna do the last GTA 5 heist? I don't know. If uh, if we are, I gotta find us some kind of spice to throw on those videos because they were getting pretty stale. I would like to. I heard it was good. Damn it! What? Think you're haunted by GTA 5? See, yeah, that's kind of what it feels like. It's, it's stupid to, like, be that superstitious, but I don't know. I have some negative associations with that game 
uh, with the single player that are a bummer. It's not the game's fault, and it's no one's fault, really. It's just bad timing a couple times, I think. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah, but no, I, I actually wanted to stream it, because it's like, it's old enough at this point that I'm curious, I'm curious to see what people say about it. Yeah, thank you. Woo. I was feeling scared there for a second. It's using the old noodle. Yeah. Giving him one of these. Yeah, Katie, that's true. Oh, actually, GTA has introduced... Has introduced me to a lot of cool, uh, cool people. And I do treasure it for that. I mean, it's also like... GTA Online, I love a lot. And, you know, I've been playing... I wouldn't say I ever play it recreationally, but I do get to test maps on it. Which is essentially me playing it for fun. Because it is fun to do. Uh, yeah. No, that's cool. Uh, you're right, I never... I guess I never properly attributed those nice things to, uh, to playing GTA, but yeah. Yeah. Okay, now if I want the weird thing... Play it on the stream. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Turbid. Sizzle. The All-Stars. Yeah, that's where I met Eric. Jess. There. Sandra. GT brings the world together. Why don't you report on that, games media? Stop trying to assassinate us gamers. Top up those... No! Whatever. Oh, there are... That's already full. Alright. Is it all... F oh, I'm missing a sub-tank. Right. Yes. Yes, I remember now. That was close. Has there ever been a video that you worked that you just weren't feeling? You didn't like it for whatever reason? I don't know. I mean, probably? But it's hard to, I mean, it's hard to not feel like just hanging out and playing a video game with people. Yeah. I mean, it, it can be difficult to put yourself in the right frame of mind, I guess, but... That's the courtesy you do. Or you try to do. Because you have a job to do. That's how it goes. So you have to kill yourself a couple times, but I only have one life. What's up, Lucky Senpai? I have enjoyed my weekend. I got to be pretty lazy about stuff. Had a good time. Spent a lot of it with Stephanie, which is really nice. <laughs> it's kind of where James Blossom, the first thing I remember him. <laughs> Does your mom know you're playing with a sex offender? <laughs> yeah, that's a, that's a pretty classic quote. Man. Alright, so, yeah. Armadillo, but I think I need to dye my way back up to a uh, full stock. What do you think about Vampire? I was in my watch Twitch few months ago. thought it was a flawed gem. It feels like that. Uh, I can't say for sure, to be honest. I've only, I only played it for like an hour and a half. I really liked the idea. Uh, I liked, I liked the intent. Um, I have no idea if it's a successful beat-em-up or if the, like, social aspects paid off in any meaningful way. Well, man, do I like the implication. And I was actually going to try to play like a full vampire run. Try and like fatten everyone up and eat them, be maximum evil, see if the how, like truly how adaptive the game was by trying to fuck it up as much as possible. I guess the true fuck up would actually be somewhere in the middle, but I'm not going to be that mean to uh, the developers. I'm going to choose entirely random things and expect every single thing to get rewarded by something. Come on, kid. Give your uncle Todd a break. 
All right. Well, that. Yeah. Gotta fill up my uh, sub tanks too. Burp. Getting hit doesn't work. Uh, I see you make multiple RTX shows. Why do you? Why do you never download the videos you want to play to the audience? I'm always trying to find find others for Wi-Fi. Why do you never download the videos you want to play? Oh, um, are you talking specifically specifically about Dude Soup? Because we play we play videos from offline sources. I didn't do it for Dude Soup because I knew they would like. I I usually leave it up to them what to what to watch as a part of the investigation process, and I didn't know what they were going to ask to to watch. So I was like, well, okay. Oh, Toasty. Thank you. Uh, social stuff in the game is really cool. The combat is decent. Yeah, it seemed like a pretty, like a serviceable 3D beat em up. Ah. Uh. Like you said, Pod, you refer to the Hadoken Pod. Yes, that is coming up. Provided I can die enough times and not get a game over. I'm not actually sure what the rules are, to be frank. Never did quite figure it out as an exact science. Saw a lot of varying things that uh, say you can't do this or skip this or whatever. <laughs> Thank you for defending Le Legions of Tomorrow. I don't know that I defended it. I just brought up that some people have expressed that they like it. Unlike some other shows, like... From what little I've seen, it seems like uh, Legends of Tomorrow is not afraid to get fun. Which is cool. Oh shit, did I... I totally missed it. Think you can still get up there? Yeah, okay. Uh. Thoughts was the no death run? I'm not dying. I'm just teleporting. Yeah, Katie, I'm excited to see the beta 76 as well. Yes, I'm curious. I feel like it's is it Part of me thinks it's just gonna be Elder Scrolls Online, but it's Fallout now. And that's not bad, because I actually kind of like the Elder Scrolls Online. Kind of. In the way that I kinda like a lot of Bethesda RPGs. So, I'm curious. Sounds like I'm crazy. It could be good. Hey. Yes, teleporting. That's a sweet teleport right there. Pew pew. That's the sound of the teleport. That's what Mega Man says. This stupid white accents. It's the anime boy of the 90s. He's got extreme silver accents and a cool red gem on his head. Watch him do a skateboard trick. Yeah! I guess so is the third person RuneScape. Yeah? Now imagine that's Fallout. And wonder why it hasn't been made yet. Son of a bitch. Alright. Even Elder Scroll Online has NPC at least. 76 is probably going to be only nodes and terminals, pretty much. I guess? I don't know. I don't know about that. Maybe? If that's the case, then there's... Yeah, then it's not an MMO. Obviously, like... There's no, uh... Merchants or economy. But yeah. But, I don't know. There's like a baseline of, of housekeeping services you have to have if you have like players trading items and shit. There have to be merchants and things, so yeah, it might just be that. I don't know. It's weird. I want to see what it is. It seems like it's it's just throwing the bar somewhere down in the single player to single player to Elder Scrolls Online gradient is just slapping a wiener down somewhere. I don't know why. 
I said wiener. I just imagined a hot dog falling in the middle of a book, so do with that what you will. Slap. That's Fallout 76. Are they going old school vanilla Star Wars Galaxies with no merchants? I've heard people say that, but I think they're just guessing. That's what worries me. Um, I, 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 since they've been vague about specifically what the game is, maybe they haven't. Maybe, maybe it's all in my head. I don't know. But I feel like people are kind of getting weird ideas about what they think that game is. I've heard people describe like, "Oh, I'm gonna like be a merchant and stuff," and I'm like, "What made you think that game has that?" Or can do that. <laughs> um, uh, updates on Lip Lump? No, it's just still there. I'm gonna have to make make an appointment and have them chop it out of my face. So, yeah, cool. It's uh, It sucks not being in, like, working condition for a while. Because I haven't been to the gym in a while and I'm starting to feel it. It sucks. Let me get back in there grunt a lot and like grimace listen to the doom soundtrack and go hoorah is it really from biting your lip i mean kind of yeah it might be pretty visible right now but um yeah i bit it once it swelled it swelled up i bit it again and it stayed that way but i bit it pretty hard but yeah i don't want to freak anyone out it happens though it's uh I think it's one of those things that's more common than people think, because most people just have it chopped out. Doing what? I was just eating. You know. I don't know, maybe I got wild teeth, but sometimes I just bite my lip. I'm a hungry boy, alright? <laughs> when I eat, it is aggressive. What do you think about... Oh, maybe scar tissue? No, so it's explained to me. Uh, the way it's explained to me is there are a lot of saliva ducts in your lip. And when you, yeah, when you bite down, those ducks can swell closed. And sometimes they can stick closed. And when they stick closed, then there's a little pocket that fills with saliva. And that's it. And, like, you can't really drain it because it'll just fill up again. Um, so when that happens, they just anesthetize the area, cut that chunk of your lip out, sew it back up. And they send you on your way. And after a while, it just sort of smooths over. What do you think about the Mission Impossible Fall? The director saying if Henry Cavill asked him to direct Man of Steel 2, we do it. Shit, I need more lives. God damn it. <sighs> That's a good place to farm lives. I guess this stage, actually. God damn it. Okay, Twitch chat. I need your I need your help now. I need you now. Uh where is it? There. What, uh, how many times do you have to die to, uh, oh my god, how many times do you have to die at the top of the thing to make the, uh, the fucking Hadouken spawn? I've never had not enough lives by that point in the game. God damn it. <laughs> God damn it. Oh my god. Do they not drop one ups? find a better place to farm these. Something near the beginning of the stage? I can just dive in, get it, and... I don't have a whole lot of stage 1-ups. Any two? Four lives? Okay. Damn. I can get this. Farm lives from the fat bats. Just the, from the fat bat. Alright. I will farm you, fat bat. I'm coming.
Hey, you know what? Cool. Whoop. That must be on like a timer or something. Yeah. Oh shit, hydrated butt. He's on me. Won't be long, Hydrobot. Alright. Hydrobot, let us commune. Oh, very good, Hydrobot. Oh, right. I. Fuck. I don't have a. Hey, Tunk of War. Thank you for the Twitch Prime sub. Thank you, Hydrobot, for saving my life. And chat's life. Thank you, guys. Thank you, guys, for staying alive. Thank you for keeping it tuned right here. People that are alive. Twitch.tv. That's correct. The one and only Twitch stream for people that are living. Let's move on to your first block of exciting living live stream content. Hey, we got a podcast about eating. Gosh, it's great to eat. Being alive, you get to eat all the time. Yeah. What'd you eat this weekend? Damn it. Why am I here? Oh, yeah. Don't need to waste my time. Ants! Ow. Hey, Red Legs. Thank you for the resub. Hey, excuse me. Just jumping into spine pinwheels, you know how it goes. Hello, Comrade Mikhail. I like that those robots have dumb little faces and when they hit you they go up and laugh the motherfuckers laugh at you they do the most basic thing in the world they fly at you they bonk into your goddamn face that's all they do it's just being distracting and then when they do it they give you the giggle you like me 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 jerks nobody told them to be jerks about it except their maker whom I will kill there. Ah, oh. That's the one that would always get me as a kid too, and it still, still to this day, it hurts. It hurts deep inside. Old memories come flooding back. Welcome Lil Dilly Moople. I'm glad that you made me say that. Welcome to the stream. What'd you, uh... Did you see slash what do you think of the Doom Eternal gameplay? I was really excited. Um, they showed off a lot of new enemy types. That's good. They showed off new movement mechanics. It's also very good. Um, they showed off like all the notes that the single player should hit. Little story hallways that are still like goofy and, and self-serious but not, not too overwrought. Like, no goddamn, not a whole lot of dialogue, just Doom Slayer ripping and tearing it. Seemed pitch perfect to me, man. I'm, I'm in. I'm really excited to see, with the new movement mechanics, what both the id map makers and even, like, uh, snap map people can do. I hope that there's enough, the game can support enough enemies simultaneously to make that stuff real interesting. And, like, the arch file is just... I guess they're writing that. And that's a real son of a bitch of an enemy. But it made Doom 2 very interesting, just by itself. So, yeah. I'm pleased. Put it that way. Also, the PvP stuff? That's super cool. It's, uh... I've always loved that game mode, where you can, like, take, a, take control of... Um, common enemies in other people's games. Or maybe they get like a little stat buff or something. So people know that they're fighting a, a human. But it's like, you're gonna lose, that's your job. But you get rewards for like, how well you do. So for some reason, for me, it takes the stress out of competition a lot when failure is assumed and intentional. But I've always liked modes like that. Like Perfect Dark did that. I thought that was such a cool idea. And I think it, it's like, it's a fun and sanctioned way to like grief people too. 
Dark Souls always had an interesting take on it. That's. I wonder if From Software copy, copyrighted that form of. Whoa! All right. That's all it takes. So it actually like persists the number of times you die there. Who knows? <sighs> but yes, uh, man, I, I feel like FromSoft deserves a lot of recognition for the way that they did matchmaking and PvP stuff. Counter op, Lottie. You know, I never knew it was called that. Thank you. They sort of had to be when you have DS type multiplayer mechanics and the faster moving move paired with grappling hook. Oi, that sounds so weird. Dying Light had a rad fuck up people's campaign option. Did it have like a like a synchronization bug or something? Oh, my first three invasions in Dark Souls were by people who could, couldn't take any damage. Yay, PC PvP. Yeah, that's when it gets bad. Okay, I didn't think about that. If, yeah, if it's busted or people hack it, that's going to be awful. But you know what? Worst case scenario, you turn it off. And that sucks, because it. I feel like that can add a lot to that experience. Um, to have people invade your game or whatever. I just like the idea of invasions when it's also implicit that you have the advantage. Like, they're attacking you. So a defender's advantage and all that? I don't know. Alright, I got my Hadoken. Let's go get Sigma. You playing Dark Souls 3? Because the PvP server connection in that game were terrible. I was. Yeah, I played Dark Souls 3 on PC. I... I don't remember getting invaded a lot. But I, I was... I thought I was, uh... Human for a good deal of the time. I could be wrong. And that stuff... That stuff's all on, uh... On YouTube or whatever. Chronicled. And the bank of gaming lore. When did Twitch turn white? It's been a while. You probably just added night mode for a long time and forgot about it. That's how, how I feel. Every time Twitch does like a, a revamp or whatever and it resets that option. I'm like, what the fuck? Who turned on the lights in here? This is a place of shame. We do not, you know, look outside right now. All right. As I recall, there's some, some testy jumps here. Also, that that dick. Nope. I hate you. I hate you so much. Shit. God. Ah. Nope. Did you summon co-op frequently? Um, rarely. That's a, that's a gamer pride thing. Rise up. Uh, that was me like, shit. God, you, okay, fine. Make me do this. Huh. There. Oh, the chameleon one's better, but whatever. Who cares? We're good. We're done. Fuck! Something about the controller. I mean, just saying. I don't know why I didn't dash jump. That shit. Do I get to dark mode? Um, I don't know, are you on, you on mobile or desktop or mobile web? If you're on desktop, it's like clicking the upper right and it's just in that drop down, I think. Invasions on Dark Souls 3 prioritize hosts with summons. Oh, okay. Oh, that's interesting. Okay, yeah, I guess I, I spent unsummoned most of the time. I didn't know that. That's kind of cool. Well, I guess that's that's the balancing factor then. They try to make sure that, yeah, if somebody's invading, they're going to get a two-on-one. Sounds, sounds fair to me. Doesn't this run out quickly? Fuck, why aren't you dashing? Ugh. It's 
feels weird. Ugh, I feel like I can't dash jump. It doesn't work. Why aren't you dashing, bro? Oh my god. That's so weird. Maybe I just got a double tap? That's gonna... Mmm. Extra let me down. I didn't want to say it, but it's true. It's true right now. Oh. Alright. It's weird to not... I feel like I can dash. Okay. I don't understand what that was all about. Jesus, please dash! Okay. We made it. Feet's on the ground! We're good to go. Never knew there was a dark mode? Yeah, it's... It's A+, plus, guys. Ugh. Again. This is a place of darkness. We are all dark here. Let our twisted sides go. Put on mascara and look in the mirror. Be like, rah. Every website should have a dark mode. Yeah, it should just be the default of the internet. But... Ooh, he's a bad boy. I don't think this is another scripted loss. Turn the brightness down on your screen. Yeah, I guess. It's not the same, though. Android's supposed to have some fucking new wave AI controlled pixel jank in Android Pi or whatever. I don't know. I haven't really read up on it. It's got auto brightness already. Like, I don't understand how AI is going to solve this problem better than we already have, but maybe that's my lack of imagination. Back at this again, Vile. Haven't we feuded long enough? I'm not doing so hot. I think there is a way to, like... Not get your ass whipped, but I'm pretty much gonna do the ass whipping. Anyone remember Ninja Blade? Yes. That one was weird. I remember trying to play Ninja Blade and not really getting it. Which has, to be fair, has happened a couple times with FromSoft games. In a weird way, that's kind of their appeal. Man. Mega Man's story is the fucking best. Shoot me now, Mega Man! Oh, I think I'm Mega Man. His name is Mega Man X. Okay. That was always so confusing to me. Ever dabble in Neo? Yeah, I did. I did. I. I don't. I don't know how I feel about it. It's weird. It's like it's slow and really fast at the same time. Got you now, Vaya. I didn't do very well. I'm kind of stumbling through this playthrough, I'm not gonna lie. But whatever. I got me a Hadouken. Which I never got as a kid. I always missed that one heart tank. I thought since my life was just like one tick higher than weapon that that meant I was full. It took me forever to figure that out. I didn't Hadouken him, no. I actually forgot I had it. But you can only do it when you're at full health, right? I think. Favorite part of the Doom gameplay was the Phobos scene? Yeah. I... I am continually amazed what developers can do with, like, story hallways. There's a lot of those. You know, two fingers to the ear. Um, 
Carmilla, thank you for the two almost two year resub. But they're getting really good at it. Uh, story hallways, I mean. And that was like that was one of the best ones because it's a, like an extended joke. It's got pacing. It's first person. A lot about it works. I hope there's more of that. But you never know for sure. Like how many how many jokes like that can there be? It seems like a good a good thing to do once. I don't know how else it, it would happen. Unless they just, like, show you some crazy-ass Vista stuff. They're like, whoa, look at all this demonic shit! Alright, go play. That, to me, that's, like, that's how how it could work. You can't really do a... Like, Doom Slayer is a mean dude comedy routine stuff. Over and over again. Oh, that's right. This, uh, this is one of those... I got time for this sections. It worked. Who cares? The game ever. Oh shit. Hold on. Z Zomcon has subbed. And that means it's time to find. Find and play. A wonderful song. It's time to play music. Also, I need water, so. Hydration bot would be. Stay hydrated, bot. Would be very frustrated with me right now. It would be very stern. Although that's one, that's one thing that I love about Stay Hydrated Bot. I feel like he never yells. Always just, you know, like probing. Don't you want to drink some water? Yeah, I like this. I don't remember how I found this band. Whatever. I didn't find them. They were suggested to me. Uh, thank you for the sub. Uh, I'm talking to hydrated, hydr hydrated Bot here. Hydrated Bot has done a lot for a lot of us. We all need to recognize that. In a distant second, Zomcon, thank you for the sub. Hope you enjoy this song, because it's dreamy and I'm feeling it right now. Thank you so much. Thanks again. And uh, I'm going to take a quick break. I never forget my dedication, the promise I swore to stay hydrated, bot. So I'll be back in a bit. Baxter, I acknowledge you've got a complex situation going on, it looks like. Uh, I'll read that in just a minute. See you guys soon.
Whoa, hold up. Uh, that is a really interesting story. Hold on a second. I click all these things over. Baxter uh, says, I was in line yesterday at a motorcycle race and a kid needed my phone to text his parents. I just chugged a lot of water. Ah, he was a well-mannered kid who called me sir and said please and thank you. He talked about want, uh, wanting a motorcycle, but his parents wouldn't let him. We went our separate ways, but I had his parents' number still in my text, so I told him they raised a good kid and let him get a bike. I just, I got a text just now saying he got one. Weird story, but it made my night. Ah, that's cute. There's some times where I'm like, there's like a hinge point at a story where I can either have a little bit of my faith in humanity restored or be reminded that everyone's terrible and no one deserves anything. And like, the response to that text was where I was like, please don't be weird. <laughs> it wasn't. There's hope yet for nice things in this world. What's up, Dr. Scully? Mm. You know what a nice thing is? Goddamn Coke Zero. I forgot who I'm shooting at. Oh, it's him. Um, this guy. Pretty sure. Yeah. Not today, boomer. I looked up your Wikipedia page. I know who I'm dealing with. Oh, what an action shot. How do you play music on stream? Uh, I mean, it's kind of a boring technical explanation. I just have my PC coming in as an audio source under the video clips. And I'm sure like some lawyer just grabbed his, sh his suitcase and ran out the door. I excuse it to myself and thinking like, oh hey man, if it gets people interested in music or makes them like listen to new bands they like and maybe not have otherwise heard of. I'm yeah, I'm going the like influencer free advertising route with it. I'm not playing the whole thing. I'm gonna try and link to what it is. I also like that honestly I like that it's not fair use at all. Uh -huh. Ah, oh, shit. This boss always, always fucked me up when I was a kid. I could never, like, do the one-shot kill thing or whatever. I got some sub-tanks, though. I can't let it do it to me. Not again. Not after all these years. Not again, damn it, not again. But yeah, that, that stuff gets, uh... Sorry, dashing is actually pretty hard on, on this for some reason. Um, that stuff gets claimed out the ass on YouTube. And I'm, I'm glad. Whatever, whatever money they get from that, they rightfully deserve. To me, that's the system working as intended, and I love it. I love that it happens all automatically, too. Like, it, I feel like it'd be weird to be like, Hey, I play your music a lot. Here's like five bucks. And hopefully people will buy albums and stuff. Ow. Hold on. Can I post a song that's really stuck in my head? Sure. That's how it'd be. Yeah, DMC Omega, it's coming. Well, apparently, like, another stream got shut down while it was running for copyrighted music, right? That's, like, a threshold that hasn't been crossed yet. And I'm excited to, uh... It's gonna happen. And I guess that's when the good times stop. Everything gets a lot more buttoned up then. Son of a bitch. Oh, H3 got shut down for Alex Jones? Yeah, I wonder. 
I wonder if there are any complications to that story. Nice. Dude claimed it was an accident? Maybe? That's um if that shit is done automatically, that's a pretty pretty broad axe for YouTube to swing, and I don't think they would swing it. Swing something like that, not yet. Like auto ban channels that have certain keywords and like we analyze the waveforms and talk about these subjects, just auto ban with nobody looking into it? I don't know. I don't know about that. That doesn't sound like an AI misfire to me. Well, whatever. There's like fourth dimensional double double ultra hacker internets that I don't even know about, so I'm... Just doesn't, doesn't seem right to me, but I'm not actually a professional in these regards. H3 was because they showed a YouTube video that had been banned on YouTube. It got cleared up. The strike was removed from their account. That makes more sense. Alright, yes. Reposting banned material. Accidentally. Okay, well. Glad it got cleared up. That's sketchy. Not really. If content is banned, people people use that to get around it. Like, it's, it's to prevent manipulation of the system. And have consequences for it. Is, I believe, the intent. But I can see how that would be. Like, this is an edge case. Content became banned and it took a lot of other content with it. What frustrates me is when people assign intent to what is like 9 times out of 10, I could see that being an accidental thing. Because that's a pretty serious thing and it has to happen fast, you know? People are re-uploading stolen shit so frequently that I get how that can't be... That can't be co-signed by a human, really. These goddamn robots are fast. You guys have seen Terminator, they run at least 80 miles an hour. I don't. These robot wars are gonna be a fucking pain in the ass, man. You know how much cardio we're gonna have to do? I hate cardio. Oh, the goddamn Terminators. The content is banned. You can do a video where you show clips of the banned content or something and comment on it. Sounds like sounds like you're roughly describing fair use, which is doesn't really apply in turn in that regard, I don't think. I don't know. Oh, Blurry, you're gonna have your wisdom teeth out? That's not so bad, man. People do it a lot, so it's pretty common. Didn't know that part of the band footage. Yeah. Dewey Vash has the right the right mentality. Look forward to surgery so you can get those rad ass painkillers. They're trying to get a little more they're getting a little more uh, tasteful about the prescriptions these days though. Like for the I got checked out for the accident. They just gave me like here's some ibuprofen and I was like, I don't don't need that. Or whatever. Funky track found recently. Can I post it in chat? Of course. Funk forever. Motherfuckers. What happened to your eye? That was a long time ago, lobster. Well, I guess last July Fourth. I uh, I fell climbing down from the roof of my house. I went up there to watch uh, fireworks. And after a very American amount of light beer. I was unable to successfully climb down. I mean, I got down, so there's that. But I did it courtesy a concrete wall. You're playing on your SNES Classic? No, this is on PC. I want to get those trade cards. I don't even know if there are any. Or the fireworks? They were amazing. I don't regret it for a second, even though well, I, I regret, uh, I regret putting Stephanie through stress. That's not cool. I don't remember what he's actually weak to.
God damn it. But being up there was, was pretty enchanted. Ugh. Um, wait. Is it, uh... Ah, it's this thing, right? Oh, wait, that's, that's their weapon. I never use anything except... Fire? Fuck it, I'll just use Axe Buster. Whatever. Whoops. Press elevator? Huh? Well done, Mega Man. Two eggs! We're getting, we're getting loose now. Shoot him in the head. Good advice. For the Mega Man Zero games? Yeah, I did. I had trouble really getting into them. I don't know why. I felt like the ranking stuff was weird. I I think I think they were games that were intended to be played multiple times, and I only wanted to play it once. I wanted to get everything the first time. But you like I remember the ranking affected like what carts or upgrades you would get, which I thought was weird. This is like maybe early early slight roguelike stuff, maybe? If you want to be generous about it. <sighs> if you get shot in the dick, does it hurt more than being shot in the head? Yes. I've shot you in the head, Storm Eagle. If only he had listened to me about my brother and his brother. And the fact that we are all robot brothers. Hey! How wooed. Thank you. Get shot in the head of your dick, does it count as. I was just trying to remember what the actual anatomical name for the dick tip is, and I don't. Um, but yes, I say yes, it does count as a headshot. Astute observation. Ah! Pretty sure it. I'm pretty sure it's weak to this. That's that Nintendo Power coming to save the day again. The OLMP. Which I guess is a podcast now. Because why wouldn't, why wouldn't anything not be a podcast? Is this Sugar Pine 7 now? Let's talk about penises. Well, I mean, it's to be fair, it's a pretty evergreen source of material. Buzzworthy, thank you. Yes, I did see the Do Doom Eternal gameplay, and I thought it was fascinating. Um, I thought they're doing everything they need to do to make a proper sequel. I think they're like fulfilling expectations very well. I was thinking a Doom 2 could just be more maps. Like, more maps, more one gun, one enemy type. Next year, I'll take it. I'll take it, I'll buy it. Um, but they're trying to make the next Doom, which I appreciate. Yeah, all the all the air movement stuff is really interesting. If there are a lot of, like, hit scan enemies or, like, charge up fire enemies... They can do a lot with that. They can expect a lot more from the player, which I think is kind of fascinating. Not complaining to watch other episodes, so it's funny how much they go to that. Oh, okay. I yeah, I need to catch up. I got to be honest. I'm not a, I'm a fake Sugar Pine fan. I started really watching like right when they got hired and sort of fell off. Metro. Ugh. Oh yeah, he's. Yeah. Alright, what was Metro in response to? Forgotten the subject. There is a robot armadillo firing at me. You can see why this might be a little stressful. Alright. 
Hey, Will. Hey, I remember you. What's up, man? Thank you for the prime sub. What is... Why does only one gun have a grappling hook, though? Oh, is it only one? I mean, switching weapons is typically part of Doom. It's part of the strategy. That seems oddly limiting. Which I get... <sighs> Maybe they're worried, like, if you can grapple and use any gun, that that's gonna... They won't be able to control difficulty like they want. Like, that makes... Maybe there was, like, a wombo combo there that was too good. Hey, Detonade. Welcome back. That's interesting if true. Shocking if true. He's this thing. Pac-Man. Lots of quick champions. I've, uh... I mean, I've been playing it for a while. I've enjoyed it. I've enjoyed it, but it's... it's To me, it's in the same boat as Overwatch. Of like, I want to play this and get really good at it. I'm not sure that I want to play it if I'm just kind of like... Not good all the time. Um, so I don't know. It might be fun to just like do one or two impulse matches a day, but... Do you have a favorite Overwatch League team? Uh, not really. Just Hometown Pride stuff. It's uh, tempting to go for the... Valiant or the Gladiators. I guess I haven't personally... And this is also for want of watching a lot of different teams, but... From what I've seen, I haven't seen a, like, a team that really... Captures attention, basically. I don't know, it's the wrong way to say it, but... Like, I, I, I get eSports. They're all, they're all busy winning. Um, and they're putting on a good show of skill doing it. But I like, I like teams that try for like goofy plays and... Exciting stuff. I, I saw a few play. Adam pointed me to a few plays recently that I, like, wow, that was. I think New York did it because, like, of course, New York. So that's a long, rambling, saying nothing answer to basically say not at the moment. No, I liked Valiant a lot, uh, in like the first season, and then Gladiators uh, got like. Their game changed, and I like that a lot. And then I just kind of fell off. So I sort of waffled. Never really felt like a... Oh, Jesus. Well, like condensation. Whatever. Never really f felt like I was cozy with any of them. It's easier to, like, players and teams. So that's the thing. Like, my favorite... I like fighting games and, like, StarCraft because it is 1v1. And then, like... You get a better roster or a better feel for individual players and their play style. And then you can really appreciate that. And then they collect into teams that can have their own, like, uh, char charisma. Mm. Mafia 3 is great. And yeah, the soundtrack for that game is really, really good. It's a bummer. I feel like, eh, hopefully enough people played it. I didn't finish it though, I'll be honest. Kinda got to where the open world open world doldrums sort of kicked in and I was like, yeah. Well hey, good like good for you for existing. I hope a lot of people play you. Play Dead Cells? Yes. I played it uh played it in early access. So it's interesting that everyone's kinda everyone's really loving it now. Wait, it's dead. Isn't it? Isn't it doesn't this cut his like little ten, ten, tendrils off? No. This, yeah. I thought there was a way to do that. Maybe that's in a different game. I feel like I've been confused about this before. Yeah. Whatever. Whatever. It's all well. Cool. Well, things feel like the first game is really major because of the time commitment. Yeah, Lottie, I agree. I feel like maybe it does seem like there's kind of a whole generation of people who are getting jobs and aging out of uh, those sprawling single player games. Which is a bummer. I think they'll still be made. We got Spider Man coming up. Hell yeah! And Red Dead 2. It does seem like if you're going to control the galaxy, that's the game you have to get right. 
Rockstar has done it for a long, long time. Ubisoft just taking their swipes. I don't know if Nintendo's... I guess they have Xenoblade and stuff. It's kind of under their wheelhouse, I guess. Single player games aren't the same as open worlds. Yeah. I think for a long time that was perceived to have the most value or be the... The most profitable kind of game to make because everyone wanted it. Like that was... It did not get better than that. Having the number one selling open world action RPG, open world everything. Assassin's Creed, man. Assassin's Creed and Skyrim ruined it for everybody. <laughs> not really. I mean, those are fun games. Gonna play Guacamelee 2? I hope so. I'd like to play it with Stephanie. Uh, have you played the, the Xenoblades? I have played Xenoblade Chronicles. That was the Wii one, I think. They got re-released. Played that a lot. Played that for like 50, 60 hours. Never finished it. Uh, got Chronicles X for Wii U. Played it for like five hours. Which I think means I didn't even really finish the tutorial. <laughs> so, there's that. And I have Chronicles 2 for Switch that I've played about four hours in. I got to the first first pair of, of ridiculous ridiculous bosoms and was like, okay, the game has now begun. Shit. The game's been good. I don't remember Shit, I don't remember what this guy's weak to. Oh, it's not that. Oh, it's not oh, yeah. He's fooled me again. Hated this boss? Yeah, I'll figure it out. Why isn't there an open world card collecting zombie battle royale? Because you just gave that idea away for free, dude. Goldeneye on the Wii was sweet. I always wanted to play that one. That was the one with like, it was Goldeneye but reimagined as a uh, Daniel Craig movie, right? I always remember thinking that was such a cool idea. And that this is a really cool experiment in like video games and casting and shit. What is this guy weak to? Is he weak to anything? He's not weak to anything. God. I swear to God I'm hitting dash and no dash is happening! Okay, well, whatever. I can't... Something weird is happening. I feel like my inputs are getting dropped sometimes. Just enough to take some hits here and there. It's very strange. I'm not trying not to be salty gamer. Urgh. I need a sub tank, though. <laughs> yeah, blaming, blaming the game. Um, that's me. <sighs> so call it. I... Shit. Shit. Shield. There we go. Uh. Mafia 3 is also cool to me because I've never really seen Louisiana in a game before, and it was cool since I'm from Louisiana. Yeah, you guys are due. Welcome to the... My town was in a video game club. Pretty spoiled about that being in LA, though. I wonder, what is the most common video game city? Someone get me a games journalist. You excited about Simon and Richter in the new Smash? I am. It's a fun inclusion. I'm more just, like, mystified. I don't understand. I don't understand how that happened. Who gave a damn enough? New York City, probably? Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, this is got put on a project where you have to archive a company's old movies that are jacked up and corrupted. Otherwise, need repairs. Found this gem. It's basically the story of a video game. They decided to make it a less than B movie. I have to click on that right away. Get mean. Oh no. Excellent. It sounds like Hardcore Henry or something. He just runs around shooting everyone with his giant gun. 
I love it. Uh, that's it. that's excellent. Uh, is it actually good or bad? Good. Having a huge orgasm because Battle for Azeroth is coming out tomorrow. Please forgive me for my sins, Dad. I, I'm actually really. Yeah, I've watched Hardcore Henry. It was amazing. I loved it a lot. I want to watch it again. Actually, I feel like. I. I owe it at least a couple of viewings. Isn't it on a streaming service now? Like it's just on. Yeah, it's on Netflix. Hell yeah. Yeah, people still into WoW. That's so cool. I love that it's it's just like a pastime in some people's lives. It'll just always be there. I keep subtly goading Steph into uh, picking up WoW again. Cool. I need health. I'm pretty sure I didn't hear the everything's full. No. Yeah. Summon and Richter. Smash. That's cool. They got the music, which is great. Which is legit, like, way more exciting than just the characters, I think. Um. I, yeah, I don't, I don't know who made those phone calls, because that doesn't make any sense to me. But. Really thought Konami was just done. Just fucking throw it all in the trash. Are they putting out Pro Evolution Soccer anymore? Because that was it. That was the last one. Alright. Guess we're all good to go. Yep. Her. God damn it. Excited for King K. Rule? Absolutely not. Oh no. Someone maybe gives a shit about that character, but. I mean, I. God bless him. That's not a reason to not put someone in a game, man. We fit trainers in there. Hell yes. Fucking go deep. Make some weird cuts. I'm in. That's what I play this stupid shit for, but. King K. Rule? Really? I don't have a cell left in my body. <laughs> I can do anything other than laugh at it. And that's pretty nice. It's nice to laugh. <laughs> hey, piece of shit. Yerk. I used to have this pattern, like, memorize. Oh, yeah, there it is. Oh. Just gotta drop at the right time. Oh, uh, yeah. No. Up the wall there. I'll get I'll get that shot one of these days. I don't even know. Booyah! That's a dingle dangle. That's the old twenty four carat. That's the Velveeta cheese. Booyah! Whoa! Come on, Robodog. Watch out now. What are you doing? What are you doing? What is this? Okay. Whoop! Damn it. Stop this! Oh, Shadow and Smash? I mean, Knuckles is in. So, um, that's good. That's all I care about. Get your dog out of here! Get it out! I'm trying to remember. Oh, yeah, you have to fight Beam him. I'm trying to remember what that shit's all about. Is it weak to anything? Cover from your fall fully. Are you planning to hurt yourself next? Thinking maybe a burn. A lot of sexiest falls, though. 
Um, well, I was in a very minor traffic accident a couple days ago, so my so my other shoulder is a little stiff. So I think I've beaten you to the punch. I have not seen Upgrade yet. It is available on digital, right? I'll probably watch that tonight, actually. Yes, I saw ads for it, so... I am going to watch it. I promise. Oh yeah, I should head Oaken. See if I can. Oh, I went back for it! Didn't work, though. That would have been sweet. I will tell you how much I love it. I'm very excited. Everyone's everyone's told me everything that, like, there's nothing I've ever heard that indicates that it won't be something I love dearly. I do want to watch it with Steph though. So, waiting for the right moment, you know. Pour some wine. Put on my Nine Inch Nails CD. So you want to watch like a cyberpunk horror thing? I'm grooving up in my boxer shorts. This is how to live. Fighting a robot man with a laser sword. I'm thinking there's got to be a way to do damage to this guy faster, but I don't think there is. See, I saw- yeah, the camera work? I did see a shot in the trailer where they were basically like track motioning somebody doing a cartwheel or a, like a backflip, and I was like, fuck, that's cool. Like, I, I've always thought that camera motions like that would be cool, but I fig- I assumed no one used them because they would be super disorienting, so... If they found a way to not make that look weird, or like make people want to vomit... I'm interested. I've, I've been waiting for a movie to do something like that. With some of its action. I don't know, camera tracking stuff is interesting to me. Fast and Furious did one, like, something like that. It was like a body slam, I think, in... With Seven. It was pretty cool. Lighting and camera and sci-fi. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, some of the some of the shots I saw in, like, the... I haven't... I've tried not to see any of it. But, um... Some of the shots I saw in, uh... uh... Sorry. This is the last boss. I'm gonna concentrate just a smidge. Come here. That's it. Maybe I gotta like jump up a wall or something. <clears throat> yeah, the uh, little bits I saw in that trailer mm, look very, very good. Look at the resolution, Mega Man X. Look upon the world you have wrought. How was that shit floating? Whatever. Don't ask these things. I was a quiet hero, Mega Man. Mega Man. Twenty people died that day. And Mega Man blew up a floating island. Mega Man. Why <laughs> did you do that? It wasn't hurting anything, Mega Man. Leave Arlen's alone. <sighs> yeah, the 90s did have a lot of standing on cliffs watching castles collapse. 
Studio Ghibli was sinking, sinking castles with abandon. Only he knows that he'll fight the Mavericks again before he finds his answer. It is kind of impressive that, I mean, I guess it's translated well. I don't know that I ever really questioned if there was a plot to Mega Man much. Who's that? Whose benefit is that for? You know? Did anyone come to you and say, you guys are onto something with this Mega Man thing? Well, where's the story? Where is the story? Where is the characters talking to each other? I mean, we were just trying to figure out how to make another cold man. Slaps the papers off his desk. Shut up about cold men! Give those robots cancer! And have, get, make one of them have a miscarriage or something. I need dialogue. We gotta care. You hear me? Slaps the papers again. And give him tits! <laughs> How did he get so mega? Mega Man Origins! He's almost got his arm cannon and boom! We hit him with the DLC! <laughs> Bad ideas video game programmer. It'll be great. People will be so connected with Mega Man's drama that they'll have to buy the episodes. We got all the celebrities on it. Hey, Fargo. <laughs> Mega Man Cross, Toby. <laughs> Mega Man X featured Toby McGuire. <clears throat> yes, that makes sense now. Yes. Toby McGuire playing a 17 year old. Telltale Mega Man. I mean, the cartoon back in the day wasn't bad. It was pointless, but it wasn't bad, which I think is a compliment considering everything else was very bad. It wasn't... It didn't assault my senses, which the Mario other stuff does. Ugh. It was just such trash. Wasn't the Zero series text-heavy and plot-heavy? Yes. Yes, it is. Malibu. That's what makes it weird. I I'd mentioned it before. Like, I didn't get super into them because they leaned on story? Like a lot of dialogue. There were parts where you had to like run somewhere, go in a house, talk to a robot, just so it would unlock another area. I'm like, boy, this is not... That is so anti-Mega Man, it hurts. The American Street Fighter cartoon? That crossed into so bad it's funny. Kind of the same with the Mortal Kombat. Whew. I did it. I accept that. I earned this. I am a hero. Can we get a Mega Man open world RPG? Aside from the one they already made? Which I haven't played. Maybe I gotta I wrap that in after I beat all the fucking Mega Man X's, which is gonna get rough. It's not all gonna be easy. It's not gonna be fun later on. Cause yeah, when that story kicks in, things get a little off. Things get weird. But we still got Elf on our side. Love when a game says you in the credits. It actually makes me feel good. It makes me feel good even though I'm already kind of like... I don't need you to stroke my ego even though I like it. Mega Man FPS would be pretty lit, no lies. That was the idea, right? Wasn't somebody working on a Mega Man prototype that wasn't FPS? I miss some developers have put their nicknames in the credits. I mean, buoyant. It's partially... It's partially nicknames. It's also partially... It's like company rules that you can't put your actual name in the credits because then people will try and hire you away. That stuff happened in like the video game boom in this in the US too. Uh okay, I guess that's it. I guess I did it. We just get to uh enjoy this. I'm feeling it. Feeling alright, feeling groovy. Oh yeah, the Mega Man X FPS made to be like Metroid Prime. That would have been beautiful. <gasps> I actually didn't know that this was here. Or did I? I don't know. Oh man. Oh man. 
I love it when villains talk shit after they lost. You'll never catch me, Mega Man. <laughs> get the fuck out of here. Go make any more robots. I'll stomp them into the ground and then kick you in the teeth. We'll do this dance again, Sigma, if you must. If you must, Sigma. Yes. Hydrated bot, calling it out. Hey, what's up, Carmine? Has been a while. <clears throat> okay. I'm trying to decide what I'm going to play next. It'll be a surprise. See you guys soon. It's a blast! 